All right, am I audible? I am. All right, I'll let them keep chatting in the background. Um, so, essentially, when we last left off, the... Um, no, you guys can keep talking. You're muted. I'm not. Okay. I don't know how Chilarius does it. We're just chatting in the background on mute, and he's like, I'm going to narrate what happened last time. Oh, that's how he does it. I just, I just, my brain never processed that. My brain is like, all right, he talks, we're talking in the background. It's fine. I can do this. And then I talk and you guys go, I'm like, you guys can keep talking. Okay. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> all right. So, uh, when we last left off, um, Marcus went full Anakin Skywalker on the kids um, unfortunate nope, for them. Nope, just Callie. Uh, just Callie. Callie and Sir Wellington and Abigail, who's not a kid. She's like the Jedi Master that was dying defending, you know, the Padawan. I that's mean, we away. now know, technically speaking, Sir Wellington's also not a child. Yeah. yeah. He's technically... He's six. He's a, he's a Rakunicorn. He is six. He's... So, a lot of, to a lot of people, they would just be like, he's a child, mil- but he's, he's not actually... He's a middle-aged yes. man for his species. He could he's have adult mil-aged children, man. technically. <laughs> he's just a little guy. In his, <laughs> in his species guy. years, essentially, he's the guy who's showing up to be like, hey, son, how's college? But... <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, so essentially, Marcus was only being on the one just kid Callie. of the group, just Callie. Just Callie. Yeah. Just Callie. Uh, Marcus, Marcus is also he went out of Skywalker and then he got Mustafard. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did yeah. We ended with this being called the Horror showing up, very grateful that Marcus donned its armor, found it locked in a um, room that was very much blocked off, even by the the Archdevil, who had walled up this room practically. Um, and, um, so, uh, Marcus wore this cursed armor, could not get it off, uh, according to children's fairy tales, which was the only reference they had for this creature and this armor, um, which is utterly terrifying, by the way, just to think about. Yeah, if you think about that, um, don't think about it too hard. Um, the, the horror's champion is the one who dons the armor, and it does not come off until the champion dies. So, Marcus wanted to die. So, <laughs> yeah, um, it, it prepared, well, it, 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 it one-shot Callie, um, and luckily did not steal her soul. It did not consume her soul. We're very grateful for that. Mm-hmm. We didn't get one-shotted. It was fine. <laughs> to be fair, she was already kind of whooped. Down, so. Yeah, I also very much one shotted Marcus yeah. in a singular turn, <laughs> and then the suit of armor brought him back. This is true. This is true. My um, level ten monk Baron did like almost eighty points of damage on his ass. All right, I'm proud of myself. This is true. Um, that was impressive. That was impressive too. Um. Dolores teleported Abigail and Callie out of the uh, out bitch. of the. Sorry. Building. <laughs> no, that's too far. No, that's too far. You take that back. Hey, if he turn, I'm just saying. Until until permanent. You otherwise. all take it back. I, no, the quote Batman from Batman: The Brave and the Bold. 
the juster, the hammer of justice is unisex. And the hammer's gonna come down on her. I'm no, she didn't do it. I'm still well, proven otherwise. I will not anyway. tolerate it. You're gonna tolerate this dick in here to thank me. You caught you caused a lot of shit. We are gonna to you are gonna tolerate this. This is you good. And I do shit. You and Markham are gonna to tolerate this. Um, oh, I'm enjoying every minute of this. Uh, they're getting no, distracted about spoilers from like a future of the character in a different campaign, essentially, mm -hmm. and um and it's it's killing Naz more than the rest of them, um and. I'm okay with Poor that Naz. right now. It uh, seems that Markham just makes it his personal life mission to fuck with Naz in every campaign. <laughs> <laughs> he only you like ain't seen nothing He gave yet. her like a okay. thousand of them and then like took them all away. Yeah. He's like, here, so, here's like five. <laughs> right. So I, I managed to do the math. Uh, let me see. How many oh, yeah, fireballs? Of the damage of the fireballs. Of the damage of the fireballs. He was holding it for... Um, Pop, 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 pop. 60 rounds. Yep, about 60 rounds. Um, 60, 65, technically. Um, da, da, da. Technically is important in this mm -hmm. case. Yeah, because there was a time where we stopped combat and just... Were well, there was also the combat... Uh, the the co talking before the combat, and I said as soon as he saw Marcus, he started this spell. So I oh, calculated up how many minutes... Uh, approximately guesstimating because it took three sessions to get through that segment and um, it was definitely not nine hours of talking. Um, well, for us, it was. For the characters, it wasn't. Alright, let's see. At... Alright, here we are. I got the, uh, the character here. Okay, so mathing time because I misplaced my... I had it all done. I had it written down. I remember it. It was... Well, it was like high. ten thousand something, wasn't it? It was over eight thousand points of damage. Yeah. Um, you could just, you, that's good. That's good enough. Right. I think that does it. You could just say that. It was uh, here eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. Ah, oh, there we go. Eight thousand eight hundred and twenty points of damage. Thank you very much. Um, over, that obliterated an entire castle too. Yeah, over ten minutes worth of yeah. Essentially, they got teleported out. They looked back. This massive orb of fire just explodes out from the center of it, like the Death Star got blasted out of the out of the. They lower felt it levels. on the other side of the continent. They did. They did. <laughs> they did. They literally heard like a nuke go off in the distance while they were there. Like they were talking, it's like the place kind of shook, and they're like, okay. Um, it was, it was one heck of a blast, and that I mean, I'm just entire... gonna say, that's more powerful than a nuke, because... That's you know. true. Technically, it is more powerful than a nuke. Um, well, also, these are smaller continents, because two months of travel by foot is like crossing a couple states. No, oh, I'm okay. saying, I'm saying oh. that as someone who's well aware that it takes, it took them... Like a month to two months to travel from Osaka down to Nagasaki, where they would off the Christians back in the day, and it and like so the fact that it's Nagasaki, and like I'm aware that they did not necessarily feel that that's stuff up true. here. That's true. That's true. That's why I say that. That is true. Living in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Living in Japan. You would know these things. That's no. a very good point. Living in Japan, where tomorrow I'm gonna watch Oppenheimer. Hey. The levels of irony in that statement. I could. That's not oh irony. It's totally intentional. I there's so many layers to that. It's an onion. And, 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 and keep peeling. It never it never came out in the cinemas here. I wonder why. So you know what we're watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Any. Amy. Ooh. I'm not. I'm not surprised there's still a little bit of soreness I'm, about that. So my friend's getting their Barbenheimer experience tomorrow. Oh, oh nice. So yeah, I guess I'll be an interesting yeah, we'll back to back. Alright, so uh yeah, uh basically yeah, we ended with uh, a nuclear bomb go an atomic bomb going off and decimating Hi. a large area. Let's just put it this way. There's a lot of devils that just went bloop back to back to hell, yeah. Um, lot of displaced devils. 
right. me being an idiot, it's like, okay, I'll make a new character. It's like, oh, wait, there's the test tube. A lot of re-dead undead. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here's <laughs> something I've been... Continent in been... Two months. Yeah, here's something I've been looking forward to. We're going to start with Marcus. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. The this. test tube, baby. The test Marcus. The now. Your, your toes oh, haven't no. formed yet. I just realized Marcus lost his beard. No. <laughs> Yep. He's yep. baby faced again. He is. Rip. <laughs> he also lost everything oh, in it, his possession, gone. by the way. Marcus is reset to no possessions. That that's what I figured. Sorry. So um, I, mean, it is reasonable I don't to expect walk across that to the continent in two months. That too. And I don't expect any of that to save a fireball to be saved from a fireball that did over eight thousand points of fucking damage. So trust me, I am yeah. not mad about that. I fully realize, yep, yeah, he's going to lose everything. From Miami to Seattle, as it takes about 50 days. Oh, man, that includes that awesome Morning Star. Yep. Damn, no Morning Star for Marcus. So here's the thing certain magical. It's items... probably gone. I was going to say, could Cali find it? No, it's probably gone. Well, I was going to say. To Adam. <laughs> not necessarily, because magical items are protected, especially star. ones with radiant damage like that, are protected by magic from the gods so it wouldn't have been destroyed but you'd have to go digging through uh actively bubbling lava to find it that's okay she's a fire genasi it's fine resistant to damage does not mean <laughs> immune resistant to damage does not mean you, uh, have you ever seen that Harlock. one skit where the tiefling's like yeah go ahead burn me at the stake i'm a tiefling and the dm goes yeah you have resistance to fire damage yeah i've seen yeah, that Mark, and she goes guys get me out of here i'm no, in the same favorite, i'm in the same my favorite, <laughs> my favorite Mark, is the, i have uh, a full character based on that concept <laughs> my favorite is there's a is a it was a fire genasi with horns and he's like well my mom's a my mom's a fire elemental my dad's a really ballsy tiefling, and it flashes back. It's like, don't you want to stop? Nah, babe, I'm only taking half damage. <laughs> <laughs> and then it pans back to the kid. He's like, my father died. So my father ago. died. My father died conceiving me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got a what from Amanda, because she only hears my side of the conversation. I'm talking about tieflings fucking elementals, honey. <laughs> we got it's that. Out of context. Just oh, out of context. Oops. <laughs> That just makes it that much funnier. It does, yeah. So, Marcus. Anyways. Uh, Slurp. Oh, we did not hear a thing you said. We can't hear you, buddy. Markham, sir. Markham, you're... I know. I just thought it would be funnier if I did the narration the first time without you hearing me. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> what? What? <Okay. laughs> It was funny oh, no. for me, okay? I need a laugh. It's only I'm funny glad, for you, because the rest I'm of us are not included. You have a weird <laughs> fucking sense of humor. I know, I do. I know. So None of the rest of us were included in that side. So, you, you open your eyes, you're kind of blinking, and you're looking around. You know, you, you The first thing you notice is your hands are kind of restrained at your side, and you don't feel your beard, and your hair feels, like, really short. Can you feel a okay. beard? Yeah. You can. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, would be uncomfortable, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like a face warmer. So you, you know how you feel? Only when it's, it's like, like stubble. Used to. When it's stubble, yeah. when it's like super short, it's itchy. But it once is. you that get to true. about... Once you get about to like the my eyebrows. One, yeah, I'm like well, I guess it's something that you would like get used to after okay. a while. So but think like, about it like your hair. You can feel yeah, your hair. You know, it's just you know it's there. You can feel the weight and the movement and stuff. But hey, hi, right here. Kitty. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. Right. You anyway, looks <laughs> I, I rate. Um, so you look, and, and the second thing you notice as you kind of process everything is there's this guy looking at, like right in there at you, and he goes, "Ah, another one's awake." So is he in like liquid right now, like a back to tank, or is he? Yes, it's like a back to tank, okay. but skinnier, so... so you're kind of restrained. Yeah, so like he's gonna back try to, to tube. So he's gonna try to talk, but then realize like, oh shit, I'm in some liquid and like close his mouth and he's just gonna like kinda look around to see like <laughs> where the hell he is. Uh you appear to be in some sort of underground uh, cavernous system. 
Okay, well, he's going to look at this person who's looking at him and just, like, sorry, just, like, point to the two restraints and just, like, have this look of, like, please let me out. I don't know what's going <laughs> oh, on. Oh, there's no restraints. There's just no room. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, he, he, then he's just, like, looking, just, like, trying to find a way to open it. Or, like, trying uh, to motion for him to open it. He will immediately go and start, um... He'll immediately go and, and start, like, pulling on some things, touching some buttons. Uh, after a moment, all of a sudden, you just... It, it pops open, and just this liquid, it's kind of... Have you ever stuck your hand in um, Jello, in Freshly made Jello, But, yes. like, it's a little bit too liquidy. Yes, I have. It's basically <laughs> that. It's enough that it runs down like water, but it feels gooey. Okay. Or like when you're oh, swimming you in just... the ocean and there's jellyfish everywhere. That's another way to put it. But the I ones without that don't do that. <laughs> I assume I at least have Moon like a loin cloth or something covering me. No. Or am I completely... <laughs> but it's naked, brother. Right. But it's naked. No. Yeah, Expose you, you the world. Out, He's a little it's like jealous. the clones from Lord of the... No. It's like the Orcs from Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the clones <laughs> from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the clones I, from I Star Wars and the Orcs from Lord of the Rings. He met there the Urukai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Uru the Urukai. Urukai. Are the ones. Yeah. I well, I was mixing it because I was thinking the clones from from Star Wars, but also the because they never show them actually coming out of the pods. Um, well, to be fair, they're grown to a child, and then what I always assume is they yeah. just take them out and then like oh. Pretty much, pretty much. But you know, but when anyway, they were in the tubes originally, they were definitely really. in the nude because they were little babies. Um, okay. Uh, which is the only time we see them in the tubes. Uh, so the Urukai is probably the best. And it is kind of goopy. So yeah, the Urukai. You're now here's a question. Urukai. Now here's a question. Does he have a belly button now? He's gone. Marcus has no belly button. That is true. He's gone. What Marcus has belly? no belly button. Cool. That's how you know. Cool. That's how you know. Yeah, there's a yeah. tiny little divot there where like a belly button should be, but there's no belly button. He's just like gonna... Okay, I assume he's already like Sort of like you have that thing that from movies where like fell out, where they fall out of the thing and then like get back up. He's just gonna just kind of look around. First, he's like, "Am I in hell?" <laughs> he looks around. I was like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, definitely not hell." He, oh and, well, it's Abigail's hell. <laughs> true. Well. And, and he's just gonna like kind of look at the guy. I assume the guy is right there. He goes, "Uh, where, where?" Ah! And he like kind of covers. He's I was like, <laughs> "Uh." Can, can I have some clothes, please? An, an explanation on where the hell am I? Am I dead? Am I am I alive? Well, no, I feel I feel myself. Up, uh, wrong wrong term of yeah, phrase there. <laughs> wrong term of phrase there. I I feel alive. What the? What's going on? Where, wait, where's that Barry on? A bit. Oh no, did he get blasted? Oh no, he got blasted in the fireball. Up, uh, um, uh, he's just trying to you know cut in and join the conversation. And he's, uh, at, at every point, because you just keep going and you keep going. Yeah. <laughs> if you give me a moment to speak, I could explain it to you. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, don't be ashamed. He kind of like knows as you're like, ah, and he's like, oh, don't be ashamed. You're very pretty. He kind of like looks at Oh, over. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Flaming right. gaze. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's the flaming gaze. Not just one, people. but two. <laughs> Marcus will kind of like just kind of be stunned of like, wait, did he just call This me? is the new bisexual symbol. <laughs> you have a new Actually, that would be, that would be. He's going through like the straight guy where it's like, wait, did this guy just call me pretty? He's like, no, well, I'll take it. He's like, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, thank what? you. Uh, mm -hmm. But an explanation, please. Oh, explanation. Uh, you died. <clears throat> yeah. I know that. I would just like to know why the fuck I'm alive. Oh, because you're not dead. Clearly. Okay. I know, Keep up. <laughs> I, I realize I have to be very specific. How the fuck am I not dead? Oh, because you're alive. Yeah. Hey, let me show you. And he, he kind of like picks you up and kind of like gives you another look over. And he pats on your chest. He goes, right here. Feel there. Feel. That's a heartbeat. Uh, yes, I know it's a heartbeat. Like, Okay. Why did I wake up in the tube? Tube thing? Why did I wake up in because that? Because that's where your body was. My, 
My body is... My body is kind of ash. In the... How do you know? Oh, no, 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 no. That's your old body. This is your new one. How do and I a have very a pretty body? one at that. All right, can you stop calling me pretty? I appreciate it, but now it's just getting annoying. Why do I have a new body? Because it was grown here. How the fuck was it grown? Well, through magic, of course. Uh, he, he, he doesn't even try and cover himself. He's just so, like, irritated by this. All right. Uh, I guess... Let's get you some clothes, shall we? Come with me. Come with He kind of, like, puts yes, his arms very... around. Ooh. Lovely uh, muscles. I... Oh, my. Uh, kid. I please tell I, me. Uh... Are you single? Please tell me you're single. No. <laughs> I have a I mean, in his, in his mind, he is. He thinks Source is dead. I, I have... No, he thinks she's been kidnapped now by Sir yeah, Willington. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess... I guess... Because he did I realize that's that. Because he did realize that the gold statues can be restored. It just takes a yeah hell of a lot of process. So he'll just kind of look. Uh, uh, don't uh, tell me. Uh, don't tell me. Let me just enjoy this moment for for now. And he walks you into the next room. He is so disturbed at this point. He's like, I do not want to be touched by anyone <laughs> right now. Uh, the name's Farindel Ferguson, the second, and you are uh, Mark. Marcus? Uh, question, Mar Marcus, is... Mar Marcus, it's such a pleasure to meet you, no, Mar Marcus. Ch just Marcus. I. Where's is a Mar Marcus? Just Marcus? Marcus. Oh, that's a good name. Now, come here, come here, come here. He like he leans his wizard staff like against a, a wall and and leads you into the next room and says, "Well, my name is Farindel Ferguson, as I said, uh, the second. Uh, that's important. Uh, so these are your wardrobe choices." And he points. There is a number of scraps of cloth and more scraps of yeah. It's rags at at the very best, like burnt, charred little scribblets of clothing at the very best. Um, there's a, there's a decently preserved ish loincloth there, sort of, except for the half that burned off. Um, no sort of armor. <laughs> no Which half. Pray tell of a loincloth. Because <laughs> like, no right or the left. <laughs> the or left is, it, is a little bit charred. <laughs> is it a little shorter than it should be? It's a little shorter than like, it should be, yeah. Or it's, is it like, is some it covered? Butt show visible in the back. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Covers in the front just fine, but but it shows a little bit of a... It's got a little wind. Not if you're well in doubt. If you're well in doubt, suffer. <laughs> what are you paying, yeah, motherfucker? Now I'm just trying to think, like, is Marcus going to have to worry about that? Roll a d12. You know what? Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I thought I could escape this in my DD nope. experience. You are, you, are not. you are not. What else are D12s good for? Um, damage. Okay. <laughs> this is for okay. damage. No! Uh, Damn it. Psychic damage for all Psychic of us. Damage. And our poor Yeah, bears. for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm about to give you all psychic damage right now. Hold on, I am sending oh, what? what I got. What did you get? Did you get a full twelve? Is he no, heat? no. But I mean, you'll see. Is he packing heat? He's hey, packing heat. Dad's in the chat. <laughs> He's packing Dad heat. Dad, Dad! Are both in the save us, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're suffering. <laughs> no. Yes. Only. Is it? Is it suffering? I have no D&D &D dad. I'm just Wellington's dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our dad. So, and well, and kind of Callie's, but Callie's going on a rebellious streak. Yeah, he it's yeah, not a rebellious is, streak. She's, if, just if, has, if, she's doing fatherless behavior, okay? I will say if you had gotten a 12, <laughs> I would have I been for giving you the baker's dozen. Ah, <laughs> that would have been great. Yep. So, okay, so... um. <clears throat> None of yeah. that was important, uh, but go on. <laughs> yeah, if you well, wear, if you choose the loincloth, it's going to be a little bit small. Um, <laughs> yeah, Farindel, you Farindel the helps you. Leads, yeah, I'm like, he wants me to choose the loincloth. 
Yeah, pick your outfit. He's laid them out. Okay. Is there anything like more covering besides the loincloth? Not there? really. I mean, there's like strips there's a of dress. cloth that you could like. So think of how like mummies are kind of wrapped in cloth. You could you could take strips of cloth and like wrap yourself. That's an alternative. Okay. Can he possibly like? Can he possibly like put the pieces of clothes like? Like piece them together. Have... Yeah. Yes, he absolutely could. He's, he's gonna could, like. He could piecemeal an outfit. Okay, he's gonna like look around and just kind of look at a uh, what was his name again? Farrandale Ferguson the th second. Farrandale. This That's second. all I got. He's gonna go. Uh, Farrandale, do you got a? You got sewing needle really quick. No, I do not. Do you need one? Yes, I do. Oh. Well, I can't help you there. He's just gonna kind of look and go. I mean, he said he he didn't have one, and then he asked if you needed one. And he did. So he I did don't know one. what you were expecting his <laughs> response to be. He's just gonna like kind of look and go. I'll make do, and like he'll kind of. I don't know if he can. Can he use sacred flame to sort of like melt the close like edges together? Mm -hmm. Like. That's not how you stick. can't weld cloth, Matt. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna no. You can if it's strictly polyester. Yeah, I don't think glass is even invented yet. No, this yeah. is Damn. this is like Damn. cotton. You do that yeah, and then it'll just will the crafters in the group just looked up all of us. I saw a look up like <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We're like, oh, and Fairy Bell proceeds to watch in horror as Marcus incinerates their entire clothing selection. <laughs> okay, no, I, I won't do it. I won't burn the clothes. He'll just Whoa. kind of. He's a wizard. Ask him if he knows how to use creation. <laughs> Love you, Dad. Enjoy the enjoy the lurking. To be fair, he's not trusting this wizard. To plus, he's like, plus it's like. He could create just something even more somehow scandalous in the clothes here. So he's like, I don't want to be this. So he's. So I'm in Dara's outfit. Farindel, like this... leave this poor man alone. He's got enough to worry about, can't you see? He's freshly woken up from the tube. Um, another another elf comes in. A young guy with kind of like he. It, it's clear that he took. Um, it's like he, he might have collected some of your gel and used it to slick back his hair. Because oh I don't gosh, know how he's... else he got his hair that slicked back. He's wearing um, hair gel. Oh, he's got gel. some hair gel. <laughs> so he's got some he's hair gel. He's not using hair gel. He's, he's gotta... using Marcus gel. Ew. Why did you have to word Ew. it that way? <laughs> Ew. Now Everything in this session nice. is just horrible. Stay slick. <laughs> Stay holy. Um, <laughs> the, uh, oh, the thing. You got a few holes yourself. Great. Um, you this guy, this <laughs> guy also is, so as you, as you were led through the tubes, you notice there are a couple other people. One or two appeared to be mages fully dressed. Um, the rest, most of them actually appeared to be children and you were able to recognize them as like some of the children that had been missing earlier and you didn't know what happened to them, presumed dead. But here they were wearing these same scraps of clothes that you are now being presented with. And um, in the doorway behind you now is, is a young elf. He's got kind of like a little bit of a stubble red beard and his red hair is kind of slicked back with the gel. Um, he's got kind of sparkling green eyes and you see Farindel kind of light up when he when he sees this guy very slender figure he's he's topless but it's clear he's taken like the the cloth strips and he's used them to like create kind of pants more or less um, he's gonna look at the pants and go see that that is what i need <laughs> if if you're really that worried about it i could cast mending for you i can't restore them to their full but if i could potentially bend the spell to hopefully well, let me show you. What were you trying to do? Pants, or at least a skirt. Well, Something. you could just do what I did, where I just I just wrapped it and then kind of tied it off. But if you want, I can I can try and I can try. Just whatever's easiest. I. All right, here. Don't worry. I, I won't look. I won't look. Farindale, get out of here. Leave this poor man alone. Very the well. The Marcus Queer episode. 
<laughs> Mario yes. being dressed by yes. dressed by a half naked guy while another one is kind of looking on longingly. <laughs> yeah. Can his name be Jonathan Van Ness? <laughs> <laughs> which one? Yes. <laughs> I don't care which one. Just one of them. The uh the um there we go. Uh, the young elf kind of takes and kind of like wraps, uh, kind of takes a, takes a moment and and wraps, uh, um, wrap uh, wraps kind of the the cloth around your midsection, kind of giving you a torso like like the this young guy has, um, and he he is true to his moves. word. He's very careful to not look when he's down around the the lower regions. Hey, man, when you're a tailor, it shit happens. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy clearly actually has some t- tailor skills, tailoring skills. Um, he has kind of tucked in his, his strips uh, of cloth, a little a little stick wand that he's got tucked in, in his little pants. He's tucking? Alright. It is queer. <laughs> All of a sudden, queer eye became RuPaul. Hold on. Right. Queer eye plus RuPaul. That is the episode today. Very appropriate for flaming gays. <laughs> Queer Paul. Apparently. Queer Paul. Paul. <laughs> well, that's just a fact. <laughs> or RuPaul I? I don't know. <laughs> um, I put in the chat for you guys. This is mm-hmm. this is the, the new you elf. You did put sure. it in the chat. Yeah, yeah. The new elf. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gotta new, update Marcus's look now. Don't add things that I didn't <laughs> That's do. not what I said. I said new suspiciously. Continue. New. Oh, okay. I mean, if you're looking new. at the first picture, you could assume. <laughs> Good, yeah. But so anyway, he, he finishes wrapping wrapping your your pants. He kind of ties it off and goes, "How's that?" Uh, that's that's better. I I appreciate it. Uh, question is, uh, did Alberion make it? Because I am so fucking confused at this point. I'm I'm pretty sure he made it. It's all right. I don't think you have to worry too much. <laughs> insight to see if this is because now he knows that's possible it's like wait is this alberia um roll insight oh that is a that is the first nat 20 of the session this guy looks like he's about to crack up and all of a sudden you realize his eyes look oddly familiar he's gonna look kind of realize and go oh you motherfucker (laughs) um it was quite the blast there wasn't it yeah uh yeah, so uh, I'm kind of getting around the fact that I'm still alive. Very, very much thought I was going to stay dead. How the hell am I alive? That's a long story. Let's just say I made uh, took precautionary measures the first night with everyone. Um, anyone in the party who perishes out there will get one chance to resurrect here. Um, All right. That's, uh... Save one, uh, actually. Abigail will get two chances. She opted to have another clone made as soon as she was respawned. Of course oh, she did. Shit. Oh shit, Abigail! Abigail, how are they? All right? I would presume so. Um, I think Dolores had the sense. They uh, haven't to... spawned back here, so. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, they're not here, so I'm presuming that that Dolores had the sense to to teleport them far enough away as I suggested. Shit! What the fuck? That, that armor. What the fuck did that? Oh shit! I gotta I gotta find. No, oh, I don't think you have to worry about the armor anymore. I don't know that that is going to be coming back. Neither is your old body. No, I know. Just. You know, nothing. It's probably for the best. She probably doesn't want to see me anymore. Nonsense. Don't say that. I whacked her with... I let that armor con... control my... If I may, my... you didn't let the armor control you. You let your emotions control you. You let all of your you. own free will, bitch. <laughs> you no, know, he's he's very much like that's what he wanted to say, but he just couldn't force it out. He very much realizes it. Yeah, I know. 
Marcus going all Aaron Yeager on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Please, uh, as long as I don't have that shitty ending, I am fucked. I just started watching that again. Hey. Right. Hey, yo. Because now that the series is actually done, I can binge my way through. Right? It's true. I do the same thing. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. Uh, well, put it this way. I watched I watched it when it first came out. The season ended, and I was like, I don't want to wait for the second season. I read the manga. I read up to the point of the basement, and then after that, it got boring for me. I was like, um, okay, so I uh, stopped. And then with everyone like talking about it, I'm like, I should probably watch it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wait yeah. till it's actually fully done, and now See, it's that, fully done. So. That was my plan like five years ago. When One Piece only had 600 episodes. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait it's till it's, it's gonna done. It's got to end eventually, and then I'll catch up, right? Yep. Oda's never going to end that. He's going to achieve immortality so that he can keep... No, one it's going to end in the next... <laughs> it's going to end in the next two to three years. I can tell you that. Also, holy shit, Anywho. the, the, the Hero Forge makes Marcus somehow look even younger. I don't know how. Anyway, sorry. Oh, they have an age scale now. You have to tab over and then scale okay. up or down his age because it puts him automatically at, like early 20s so he's a freshly graduated college student i mean to be fair he is early 20s okay but in that still, case fresh face baby boy accurate so it's just stop the, judging no beard and he goes <laughs> beard, just the beard and everything beard makes it's everything look older correct and he goes so back to the, beard, get the man. drama he just kind of sighs and goes so what was sir wellington Um, I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen his kind before. I confess I've known about it for a while. Due to the nature of cloning everyone, his true form is what I grew. And is it a demon, rocket, devil, what is that? Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, I would presume it's not fiendish in nature as I don't have the ability to clone such entities I was wrong about that too. in theory no. anyhow but I've never tried that I know of all right I'm just he's gonna let go is there there has to be two sir this makes sense because the last time I taught saw sir Wellington he turned into a fucking devil and killed killed oh, so many and going by the name Proteus Proteus hmm. it was it and then odd. now just I see him and I'm fucked up I'm fucked up that is strange for certain um now, the thing is, now that he's actually more, like, down in himself, if he went in and saw the clone, he'd realize who it was. <laughs> it's true. Tell you what, come look at it. Come, come look at him with me. All right? Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> All right. He's going to take a breath and just keep going with him. Uh, he'll lead him into the next room and, uh, uh, he'll lead him back into the room with all the clone pods. And as you pass, there are literally clones of everyone who washed ashore with you guys that first night. Um, okay. And sure enough, in one of the pods is a little raccoon with a unicorn horn, just kind of sleeping there. And I assume it looks very different from the Proteus. What it you does. saw with Proteus was like half, I can't like, remember. like torse, like waist up was raccoon. It except for when you got to the head, which had two large ram's horns, and okay. then bottom half was, like, goat. So it was essentially, like, satyr, but the upper Gator half, raccoon. like, it was, like, oh, mini satyr. 
mini satyr but like the top part was the raccoon with like the devil horns and all that so yes this looks very cater or say tune stay tuned then he is stay tuned <laughs> i mean i will put it this way as well for you it hasn't been more than a day since you last saw this version that is of true. Sir Wellington. It, it's just been long for us. So yeah, he's going to go and go look at this and go, holy fuck. No, that. Yeah, no, no, no. See, I didn't see this. I saw it had the raccoon body, but then it had goat legs and two horns. This description I, is just the best. Right. I am so fucking confused. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? No, but you saw this version of Sir Wellington less than a day ago because you were in the Feywilds with him. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> yep. Been too fucking long, right? He, he bamfed right. you back to this. He bamfed you back here. He, yeah. No, just my brain. It's like, it's been so long. <laughs> It's been it's been for you at this point probably a week since you last saw Proteus. You know, I'm talking about me where I'm like, I yeah, I I know, I yep, I know. I, that's why I'm letting you know. Like character wise, it's probably been a week since you've seen Proteus, a day since you've seen Wellington. Okay, so he's gonna go. Wait a minute, that was oh shit. Uh. All right. That, uh... Okay. Nah. That's cool. <laughs> you just gotta just kind of go over to any sort of sitting place, just kind of sit and just go like, just kind of have that deep moment of like, what the fuck? Everything. Oh shit. Kind of, kind of moment. Just thousand yard right. stare. You should. Just, just take a moment. You, um, you're feeling all right. You definitely look a little younger. I know I am. <laughs> you look all right, or you feel like a piece of shit right now. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Both two of my characters good? are not having good days. <laughs> He's just gonna kind of go, well, I feel like a complete, utter piece of shit. Well, if I may be frank, you should. And that, of course, helps. But you should also Don't recognize be Frank, that be Albarian. we are <laughs> very funny. <laughs> but you should also recognize that we are trapped in a really messed up land, and you are, of course, prone to being tricked as anyone is. And whatever that being was, probably wanted. Sir Wellington dead, what better way than in, to impersonate him and frame him for murder? Whatever it was, if not him, if he doesn't have some sort of strange alternate personality that fits into a separate body, um, then it was clearly some, some sort of demon of, of impersonation that was using his appearance, knowing that he would never take his true form to frame him. And anyone could have fallen for that. Man, I'll bury it out here getting it before Wellington does. <laughs> <laughs> I should have stayed home. Don't say that. No, it's right. I... When I was going on the voyage... I had doubts. I was like, I should stay in the temple. No, I just had to go and look. It ain't, it ain't nothing to do with you. It's all my bullshit. My stupid fucking need to make the world better. Not for any selfless reason. I can tell you that much. But just. What the fuck do I do from here? Just tell me that. What the fuck do I do from here? Just tell me that. 
from here, you pick yourself back up and you keep helping people. Because it's quite obvious to me that that is what you care about. And right now, we have a couple of very wounded friends out there who need some help. All right. Give me, an, give me an amulet or a holy symbol and all. You're I'll really quiet, this. Matt. I actually can't hear you. Oh, damn. Oh, there you, you go. Yep. That was weird. So, okay, <laughs> so he's going to just go. He's going to sign and go. Uh, give me an amulet of whatever god. I'll help heal. Well, unfortunately, we don't have those things. Uh, we only have what is currently available. And holy artifacts were destroyed, apparently, when this continent fell. So, that was back when I was. <laughs> that was back when I looked like this, actually, apparently. Hmm. Man, that was a long time ago. This, mu this dude's been here that long? Goddamn. <laughs> That... I, thought he, I thought he washed up on shore with us. This <laughs> sneaky bitch. He He's did just gonna... wash up on shore with you. He's just been alive that long. That's true. He's just gonna. So he's just been carrying around like test tube baby somewhere. The what? He's just been carrying around test tube baby somewhere. No, he hit him here when he first did the whole thing. So he got out freely and then came back. No, 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 no. He no, wasn't no, no, no. on this continent when it fell. He was on the other continent. Yeah, he's... He just happened he to be was... alive at that time. Yeah. So oh, he so brought no, it no, I his under... paper. His no, I'm, I'm saying, how are t how is Test 2 Baby over on our continent? Oh. Oh, so it ages you to a younger... It doesn't age you to your current age. It ages you to a point of maturity. I know that. Okay. I... Oh, it just ages you to the point of maturity. Yeah. So between... I thought you well, the way you said it before was that it ages you to the point of where you took the finger from. Did I That's say... what you had said before. Yeah. Oh, I guess I did say that. Well, because because I will say if that was the case, because then all of a sudden, all these children that got their fingers chopped off. Would find themselves to be quite a few, quite a bit older than they actually were. Okay, okay. And they'd be going, "Yo, what the fuck? My voice changed. <laughs> I, I'm an adult I now. <laughs> I'm an adult. They're, 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 like, they're <laughs> like, I'm an adult. I can do whatever <laughs> I want. <Yeah>, puberty. <laughs> okay, okay. So rules as written, it's kind of flimsy. Um, doesn't specify much. Um, yes, just like I understand that. Could, could I think just... I, what I. Okay, so it's basically like, to, if you're younger than an adult, then it ages you up to the point of the finger when the finger was taken. If you're an adult, it ages you up to the earliest point of being adulthood. It doesn't age you past, okay, you're an adult now, because once you become an adult, Damn. your body's just deteriorating. That's what aging is. It's deterioration. Since it's uh, I'm going to come, I'm gonna come into this body being three years old. You are. Yeah. Oh, lose half age. my life. <laughs> even smaller. He gets even smaller. <laughs> I could be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just a little guy. Just the horn goes noop. <laughs> no, it would be. It, the, no, the small. The horn would be smaller. Yeah. The <laughs> raccoon horn is lose a small. whole little twirl. <laughs> So yeah, that was how I that was how I, I I determined it because it didn't make sense for the kids. So I did it. You go you grow until your you grow to adulthood, or your current age, whichever comes first. Since since it can Is only Twitch grow and for aging else, past. Or is that just me? What? Is Twitch know. fucking up or is it just me? No, it's it's kind of glitching tonight. Well, I, yeah. I've noticed that. Actually, it's just your camera. It is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Critical Role yeah. is probably breaking. So you, it's also it's also your camera. Yeah. Like, you are at, like, you are glitching. You're, you're glitching. glitching in Zoom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sulky, Sulky froze. 
Sulky, stop. That's Corrin's job. Come back. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> she can't even cut me out. Disrespectful. <laughs> Her camera disrespectful. Froze. She can't even cut me out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I could just say it's your character's job. In general. Ouch. You just love petrifying people. Uh, I just don't like killing people, because until now I didn't have a way to bring them back. And I don't like being Marvel or DC, where it's like, they died, they're back, they died, they're back, they died, they're back, they died, they're back! <laughs> or Star Wars, he's back, somehow. But how, how no. Star Wars is. Did you see a body? Was it how many pieces was it? Yeah. Two? Not enough. He's alive. <laughs> Somehow Seven? Palpatine returned. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh no! Uh, she vanished. Uh, we lost Selk. Yeah, Star Wars no. is you. All right, so Abigail, you're Marcus right now. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Naz, you're playing Marcus right now. He <laughs> goes. So, what I need you to do, Marcus, look at me. Marcus. Marcus, you're looking down. Marcus, there you are, Marcus. No, I'm not doing it. I, 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 I want to hear your Marcus voice. I want to hear your Marcus voice. Come on. Oh. Why is everyone okay. messed up except Sir Wellington? Because Sir Wellington messes up you. <laughs> Who am I now? Oh, I can now share that meme again you, into chat that I shared before. Kieran now, that Kieran, now that I Cole is here, this year is Kieran. <laughs> I have necromancy and big axe. <laughs> come on, come back, Sulky. I have Kieran's upper body and Abigail's little legs. <laughs> so it's like the Deadpool little uh, legs. Too. We'll take a five-minute break, everyone, while while um Selkie returns. Um, oh, there she is. Never mind. All right, I guess we're back. That was a quick five-minute break. That was a disrespect. Like she a five is second offended. break. Right. She is so offended. I hit admit. Why didn't she pop up? Hey! She's too mad. She is mad at you, Mark. <laughs> I guess I could see that. There we go. Okay. I think she's back. I hope she's back. Well, oh. she's... Can oh. Hey! What? Ish. Oh, God. Oh my god, I just saw that. Bedtime. <laughs> You'll just be a little bit skippy, it's okay. It's like I have I have the, the your credits. internet is unstable and I'm like bitch name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My internet boat. Fuck raccoon boy. <laughs> you me internet, but I still function. <laughs> you don't hear me glitching about it. <laughs> <laughs> If I could break down into pieces every single time I became unstable, you think I wouldn't? Right. Not an excuse. Yeah. Disrespect. Also, really disrespectful for bringing up Karen. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Disrespect. You disrespect me. Yeah, how dare On the day of my, of my son's birth. How dare he disrespect you? Keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect. I thought you loved Central. her. Every time I draw her, you're like, oh my gosh, you're pretty. <laughs> and I thought we were all good friends with her. She's a nun ever. We support her. Except for we fail constant. <laughs> <laughs> and freaking Nat once. It's true. Uh, so yeah, and and Nat won once and get, right. <laughs> get fucked. It was, just once. it was just one time when you couldn't afford to. So, Marcus. He he sits he, he he kind of like leans over and goes. Marcus, tell me something. All right. Something. You like? Do you like helping people? Do you like like me? Check yes or no. Yes. It's not a very straight answer. Well, neither is he. So. Oh. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. <laughs> Did someone say they need help? Go away. <sighs> Mr. Ferguson. I will say that man is way too horny for he's his own good. That, he's persistent, that's for sure. But, no, it, 
I won't go into detail, but I helped people get hurt. And I feel guilty about it every fucking day. And I, I do want to help people, but it's mainly because I feel like I have to make up for that. You know? Alright, well, listen. I'm glad you're walking through this, but this is not something you have to tell me. This is something you should tell Callie. Do you need another minute, or are you ready to go face her? I was not the time for sharing memes. It's always the time for memes. <laughs> you know, oh all my God. <laughs> isn't this isn't this Marcus's a little bit of the Marcus reaction as well as what Sir Wellington would react? Yeah. <laughs> they're both they're both one and the same right now. <laughs> no one dies a virgin, everyone gets fucked. To be fair, Marcus reaction, did not die a virgin. Mainly my reaction when I get accused of something I know I did. What? <laughs> Me? Oh, never. You hear Marcus did not die first, but only because Cole was like, dude, this girl wants to fuck you. You should go fuck her. Oh, man. have sex is what Kieran did. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Marcus is like, much. if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Anyway, he's just going to kind of just kind of raise an eyebrow. Joy. That's crazy. Right? He's just going to raise an eyebrow up and go, Is she here right now? No, but I can teleport us back to where we were. Or is. we can spend a few days hiking back there. I do prefer to walk whenever possible, but uh, since I, I have that area in my brain now, now that I've been there, I, I can bring us back there. Bam! You just gotta, gotta go, I assume you mean the castle that is not by, outside the castle that is yes, most likely by now they're probably back where our camp was we had a camp outside the castle no you know mm. what Let, let's just let's just rip this bandaid off right now just, also if I may be nice to Abigail I'm not sure what you've done in your past that hurt people it's none of my business it's between you and whichever god you serve but Abigail has also hurt people, and she is also trying to make up for it. So be a little gracious, all right? <laughs> all right. She's working. <laughs> Marcus, if you compare to Abigail, that's gotta hurt. All right. That does hurt. <laughs> Who gives a little gentle <laughs> jab to his shoulder? Say, like, all right. Let's get cracking then. No, not cracking. That actually would be. Really bad. I don't want to face one of those. Um, let's uh, let's get let's get moving. I mean, we already did face a kraken. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a kraken would be kind of. I'm downgrade. pretty sure that's not what the natives call it. No. I'll... No. No matter what, it is a kraken pussy right now. Anyway, it's a kraken pussy. I hate I the creature. Question it. I won't question. <laughs> it. Do you need some time? Time um, will just. Set in more doubt, so let's just let's just get going. Very well then. Deal with it while the wound is fresh. It's smart. Don't let infection have time to set in. <laughs> and with that, all of a sudden, he casts. He's just gonna a spell. like look at him like, "What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck?" Farindale pops his head in again. Do you need any? And you two are gone. <laughs> you reappear. Well, actually, we're going to pan over. Abigail and Callie, you two are at the camp where you guys had been the night before. Well, Abigail, anyhow. Callie, no. Um, I was with my girlfriend. Dolores is standing there, jaw just agape, staring at the bub lava bubbling up as, as the, the remaining chunks of the castle are just slowly sinking into the freshly cracked open earth over there. 
No, 100% dead ass. Someone better be holding Callie back because she's about to jump into this lava. Oof. She's going after Marcus. You are resistant, not immune. <laughs> like, I don't think Callie there. cares about that back right now. Back. Callie does not care. She is straight up Frodo trying to get to Gandalf as he's dragged down by the fucking Balrog. She Give me a wisdom save. Give me a wisdom save right now. Okay. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> Can Abigail also? Abigail's For gonna pity's say something. sake, give them a moment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, what is it? Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Saying? Yeah. I was I was listening. I think it's a wisdom save. Let me check. It might be a charisma save. I think it's a wisdom save though. For trauma, I thought it was wisdom. No, no, this is for something wisdom else. Wisdom for trauma. Uh, if it's for a whole mm -hmm. person, it is definitely wisdom. Wisdom save, yeah. Fat temper. Fat temper? What? God. No, they're all super cop. Ah. Come here. Oh, these are not. Hmm. Oh, speaking of, I need Seven. to add that spell to my spell list. <laughs> Seven. I do now know hold person. I can go and grab my book. Oh, what? Seven. Seven? Yep. Callie takes off and immediately freezes in place, and now you, you all you can do is stare. Dolores may be staring in shock, but she's aware enough to see in her peripheral Callie sprinting towards the fire. <laughs> Callie, they'll be fine. We go. We go. The same thing will happen to them as happened to me. We'll be back. That that is more ominous than ever coming from Abigail. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <laughs> the that's same thing morbid. that happened what? to me will happen to them. In one context, <laughs> they're going to show up wearing pink. She, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she can't respond, so I don't think true. she made it clear as day. That's She's true. not going to elaborate. You can, you can kind of look back at her. Should I let her go? Little, not even little wiggles, but she, like if she could wiggle, there would be some wiggling. <laughs> the eyes are just like staring daggers back at Dolores and Abigail, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. She just looks at Frederick Kelly. Okay. <laughs> you have to use your eyes to communicate. Are you going to run into that fire? How's she supposed to use her eyes to communicate when all she can do is look around? Look up and down for yes, left to right for no. Oh, that's smart. That's really smart. Yes, Callie, are you going to run into the fire? Look left to right for no, and up and down if you're going to run if we let you out. Wow. So, okay. Staring straight ahead isn't an option, Callie. <laughs> he's going to come back. I'm telling you, he's fine. If you get burnt, he'll be very mad. And being cloned is not fun. You don't want to go through that. Just don't bother. He'll be fine. Callie, Callie, even if you run and jump into there, what's what's dying going to accomplish? He's already dead. No one could survive that. You'll lose your cool tail. What? Why is that a point? Because she'll be cloned. Well, what if she doesn't like the tail? She likes it. How would you know? Because I just know. Callie, he's you fine. Don't, oh, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. How long have you known Callie? I gave her the tail, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> I gave it to her. A moment. Oh, okay. this would be so cool. And in all that time, has she ever said, I want a cool tail? She didn't have to say it. It's cool. It's got fire on it. Why would that mean it's cool? It could be a problem. She walks by, a table catches fire. <laughs> that's funny, though. It may be funny, but it's not practical. <laughs> Her hair is fire. She's used to fire. Dude, My not, point is... Not at that low of a level, swinging side to side. Okay, well... If you want to lose your tail, please throw yourself into that fire. You'll no, come don't back. Don't throw yourself it... into the fire. 
Do you want me to convince her or not? No. I... She only has the one extra life. We don't need her wasting this one. He will be fine. If you go there, you won't be. <laughs> how long does how long does this? So she like checks her spell book. How long is this? All right, I have her for one minute. I can just recast it again if she runs, as soon as it it, it releases. Worst case scenario. Um. Do you have anything that might slow her down if she takes off? I can't physically restrain her. Have you looked at no. her? No, <laughs> I was going to say Abigail <laughs> just grabs her. <laughs> Trust me, you can't either. She looks at like Abigail's small frame next to Callie. <laughs> this is a kid, I... and she's huge. Shit. <laughs> she's buff as shit. Well, Hermione trying to not. withhold Vi from League of Le from uh, Arcane. That's what I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> She's a buff 15-year-old. She's a buff-ass 15-year-old. I've known a few. Ellie, do you understand? At least give us that. I, 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 I don't know the motion the yet. <laughs> we did, we, up and down for yes, left and right for no. I don't know what the eye roll is. I have not seen that in our code that we gave you. Abigail, help also me out so here. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to stay doing eye movements. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's going to look down. She's going to look begrudgingly. Look down begrudgingly. Yeah, up, up, oh. and, up and down begrudgingly. Okay, good, because uh, it's about... Yep, okay, and it, it, as the minute expires, Callie can suddenly move again. Abigail's still holding Which, her. She's as not you are mid-run, you are just kind of like, whoop, you kind of lean over into Abigail <laughs> because you were <laughs> mid-run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, do we land in her boobs? <laughs> roll, roll, a D, roll a d20. Roll a d20. Ask him Abigail is the bus in his area. I gotta, I gotta at least try. Wait, make it, make it a charisma check. Charisma check because charisma check <laughs> counts luck. as a luck check. Y'all are asking the real question. Oh shit! <laughs> zero. I mean, zero. You can always do a what. Uh, How do you roll a zero? zero. <laughs> I rolled a nat one. She's got a minus one charisma. <laughs> Ow. Oh, fuck. You look like you're heading towards her boobs, and then you just go onto the ground as she backs out of the way in the nick of time. Ow. <laughs> He's like, no, no anime titties. Moment. No titties no anime for moment. you. Yes, no. <laughs> no anime moment for you. And because, no because no. you see it coming, you're like, okay, and you I let it, it happen. <laughs> Because because you you see it coming, you kind of have this moment of oh I'll let this happen, and you choose to not catch yourself at all. So when she steps back, you go. Wait, how much health do you have? But she can hold her. <laughs> I'm holding her. She's not gonna like keep her to the side. Give me a strength check to see if you can hold her. <laughs> wow, she's okay, look. Like Après combien funny. comme trois livres? <laughs> what do you say at me? <laughs> Angry for anything noises. at you. <laughs> Strength check? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Like Kira's out there. But right? He... Grab with one hand, just pull her. Just grab her by the collar. Or by the <laughs> oh, shit. Not 20? Yeah, got for 20. 20. Okay. He got oh, so, we'll say Yeah, this. one of my children You're isn't dead. coming towards her and you're like oh, okay and you let it happen and you go whoosh and you're like oh no i'm about to hit the ground and then you stop right before you hit the ground and she like grabs you by the shirt yeah, yeah by the collar yes she grabs you by the collar that sounds like an abigail move <laughs> and she can't hold her by the collar for sure this strength is luck <laughs> it's not strength <laughs> i mean you're she's both handed really you're hard. using both hands to hold her collar <laughs> yeah she just puts her back up so her head's down but 
well, between your feet. <laughs> you see, to your left, you see Abigail's foot. To your right, you see Abigail's foot. And then you see the ground right below you. And you feel, <laughs> it's just got you by the, the <laughs> collar. It's just braced above you. <laughs> I'll just sit her back up. We're good. Up. Clones? Whoa, uh -huh. We heard nothing. <laughs> We're good? You, Long, your internet silence. Was... <laughs> Long silence. Uh, Wait, that's not I good. Yeah. Hey. I mean, appropriate. Good shit. You need to close out all those extra tabs, you boomer. My one other tab that is my character sheet. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Close it. <laughs> Close it. You yes. don't need it. You have one health point. Get fucked. Green shot. <laughs> Close it. Yeah. If you get into combat, you're going down. Sorry. Just, just accept a sweet release of death. Pretty much. Um. Uh, no, it was hold up clones. Back up. Yes. Well. I'm sure you noticed. I'm not exactly a dampier anymore. It's kind of hard to tell when you are and when you're not. What, what the fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's, it's not <laughs> like I woke up I on the don't... wrong side of the bed this morning. I don't know. I feel a little damn purish yes, today. Yes. I'm going to raise the concern. Like... That, um... <laughs> um. Wait a minute. Like, I don't exactly look in your mouth and see if there's fangs in there. You can tell. I haven't seen you. An undead being has a presence. <laughs> I mean, sh probably, but... Mm. I spent a lot of my training focusing on how I was feeling and how I can control myself. I gave very little shits about other people. Like my point being... Alberion chopped off everybody's fingers and grew clones so that if you die, you will go back into a clone body. I know. No, it, he regrew there. it. He regrew it. Oh. Yeah. Can magic... It all makes can. It doesn't make sense. It might be simple, can you? What? I don't know what you said. <laughs> no, it can't be simple, can it? Apparently not, but he is coming back, and you being all burnt up will not make that any easier for him or for you. At that moment when <laughs> they just appear, <laughs> like Jesus. That would be, ah! You know what? No, because he's, he's still oh. getting dressed at this point and talking with Alvarion. <laughs> When? Like, when? When what? Back? Oh, he's probably he back. back. Then where? Where is he? In this tube? I don't know. Somewhere. We could probably start walking. I mean, I know where it is. You know where it is. We both came from there. It's kind of like. What Doris the... just kind of points. It was somewhere that direction. Do you know where it's Miguel is? Miguel is Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> Has no <laughs> sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like... He's like, you just walk straight and then make a right. Somehow ends up behind them and to six paces to the left. And you're like, how did you end up yeah, there? The directions were sanctuary. super... Right. Yeah. I have so many stories. I'm drawing from personal experience, but anyways. Oh, so you're Zora <laughs> IRL. I, I will not get into it because we're live in time, but I, <laughs> let's yeah. just made say, some bad decisions. Let's just say this one got lost on a marathon run where there was a clearly marked path. No, I'm kidding. That is. <laughs> well, kidding. You say that. <laughs> you say that. You I had doubts at moments. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, I will dissect my plans to you after. But yes, anyways. Okay. 
<laughs> I love Soki. <laughs> oh, that was gosh. good. That was too good. Anywho. All right. Um, so, I mean, we could start walking. We might as well. There's nothing else that we can fucking do that just... Take a long rest, recover your hit points, maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> nap. I need a nap. Okay, well, you can do that. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good idea. Let's rest first. Let's rest. Um, as you guys kind of, like, rest and, and settle down and stuff. Rest! Um, what? No, you don't get a short rest yet. Um, short rest. But we're... We, because what? we're Rude. I'll let you know when you get your rest. Um, Sir Wellington and Kieran, you two are, last I remember, talking, as I recall? No. No, he was getting I, his I, book thing done. And oh, I, was, I, right. I, I, would, I had finished up with doing girlfriend. my stuff. He was at the tavern. Right. Who knows what Harrison and Kaylee are doing? Probably vandalizing his horse again. Probably. That's true. Let's time skip past that. Uh <laughs> I just see me holding her and little shit. Next time you touch my horse, I'm gonna. <laughs> He's just. Hey, 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 hey! He just is a just a joke. You also notice the Wellington. The Kieran looks all taller. The horse is painted blue right now, completely blue. That was the last time you little shit. Ghost horse. Just you a need a blue horse. horse. Just take care. Of, just give him a wedgie. Put it over his head. Ow! 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 Get out of here! Sir Wellington, he's hurting me! Rescue me! Rescue me! You're fine! He's like swinging like he's trying to punch. I let him go and like pushed him like, go, go get out of here for a second. He runs up and he's like, ah, 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 ow! Ow! Even your armor hurts. Yeah, go punch yeah I could have told you that one. Yeah, well. Fair enough. It's still... Okay, I'm gonna go check on Kaylee. <laughs> he that might be a good off. idea. Yeah. So he's like also walking Wellington... with a weird hitch. Is he's walking with a weird hitch in his giddy up now because of the the wedgie. Also, uh, <laughs> Kieran looks to be about five inches taller than he was. Well, you remember? You guys, you probably just didn't notice when you saw him the day before. He was earlier. sitting down. He's sitting down. He stood up, and he looks about five inches taller. And he has a new shield on his back and his axe at his hip and he's wearing... No, no. He was shorter <laughs> and then he went and hung out with his girlfriend and now he's five inches taller. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Every time I, I will see roll, you, I, I will roll inches. for... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, no, so he's... uh, And he has, is wearing shiny half-plate armor now. Hey, he's ready for adventure right now. He was in just regular clothing, but now that he's got his armor on... You're like, oh, he's yeah. still, when he's still just hanging out, he doesn't wear a shirt still. It's only when he's getting ready to leave to go places so, he puts a shirt on. So like me, IRL. Right. I, yeah, I wear shirts same. when I have to. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> this is why I prefer warmer weather over colder weather. You try hanging out without a shirt in cold weather, it doesn't go so well. Bet. You I'll shouldn't die, be hanging then. out with anybody in public without a shirt on if not your wife. <laughs> Fair. No, not really. It's cool. actually normal to hang out without a shirt in Florida. And Texas. My gym, half the people walk around without shirts on because it's a powerlifting yeah. gym. That's true. Gym is acceptable place. Gym gym and beach. How about are the beach? Two acceptable places. Perfect. Hike, live... Hiking, yeah. hiking at the lake. We we all beach. things that are close awesome. enough. There's a close enough do beach. Anyways. Places. Anyways. It Anyways. Qualifies. Back to the game. We're in the state. That counts. I'm kidding. Doesn't matter. Back to the game. <laughs> Sir Wellington, you just want mi to be up to mischief. What do you want to do? <laughs> ah! No! Ooh. Callie! What happened? Again? Of course, I'll keep. Oh, she's there again. There you are. Why do you so, keep changing locations? Ah! Now you're out I'm of I'm not jail. changing locations. <laughs> so. Uh, here's just gonna... We will... Did you figure? Did you get done what you needed to get done, lad? Mm-hmm. He's just staring up at you. What's wrong? How old are you? Let's just take a little quick look at character sheet. 
32. So, so you are very past the age where you should be growing as much as you did in the past three months. What the fuck? Oh, right. <laughs> well, I, uh, thanks to my new lady love, I forsook my, I got control of my rage. And by getting control of my rage, it no longer controls me, meaning I am able to harness it. So I took up some uh, old tricks from my family. To start a car. So you runes. stopped slouching. Took up some runes, and now, oh no, I actually grew because I got because of my runes. Okay. You know, he has runes carved in his shield and on his axe and on his armor. Yeah, I don't know how it happened, but I finished carving a rune one day, and I stood up and I hit my head on a beam. The renovations were a pain in the ass. I am suddenly two people. <laughs> I feel I feel like the uh, instantaneous growing like that would also be a pain in the bones, but okay. Uh, probably, but I was too worried about my. Um, hands. we need to figure out how we are going to get uh, across the country, and um, I think we need to go have more chats with your uh, demon fighting people, uh, because. There's stuff that is happening, and uh, they were very interested in that. And um, also, he just wanted to sit there and sketch me, as, like some weird pervert. But it's okay. I mean, you are you are now a raccoonicorn, so raccoonicorn. It's all one word. I'm not raccoon corn. Raccoonicorn. My accent uh, makes it sounds like I stole. Okay. <laughs> But then it might be good to, to go and to figure out where we're going. Because, well, this is a nice place. And I can definitely see living here. And it is great. Um, I think it would be good to uh, maybe, like, get rid of the devil problem. And then maybe continue on to the place where everyone was trying to go initially anyways. Um. I still want to have my my beef Wellington with Alberian there. Aww. All right. So I guess first things first, we should go talk to the guild. Probably. First. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go. And then before we, he leave, just I starts just... running off. Ah, da, da, da. I grab him real quick. Hold on. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. You need to wait for me. Someone will think you're just a normal raccoon. Because you didn't put your glamour back up at the end of the last section. No, he he, he explained that uh, they let him in like this because he passed like this, and if he keeps the glamour up, they're going to think it was it was sort like the person before that they kicked out for being evil. For right. being evil. Well, let's go. Okay, I have another cookie. Okay, can you put me on your shoulder first? But if you're going to stop me from like running, I almost certain I will not be able to keep up with you here. Have a cookie. And then he takes one out and breaks part of it, hands it to Snickers, and starts munching on the other one himself. And Just leave them guy. to whoever would be in charge. And he goes, it, I, but I'm like, I miss you, little lad. I have missed you too. I mean, I you should have been there because it would have probably gone a lot differently if you had been there for a lot of stuff. But uh, it is good that you had uh, to some time to uh, get over the 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 stuff that happened. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't there, but I'm not leaving again. Well, it's okay. I had some good time with Kevin. Hey, and who's Kevin again? Hey, Kevin, he's my, he's my, like, he's kind of like my big brother or like uncle. He is, and he, he goes again, he's like about this tall. And again, for for you, it would be like about like four inches. And he's like, he, he he is a fairy. And he taught me how to make the cookies. He's, he's in the Feywild. Right. You got to do some weird ass shit while I was gone. Well, well, well yeah, what? I, I mean, and then that's that's Kevin is also the one who introduced me to Uncle Loki. I'm sorry, Uncle who? 
We love Loki. We do. We yeah, love yeah. him. Loki. He could pull. What? Do you know him? Uh, He's uh, cool. Markham, based on my character's upbringing, would he know? Give me a religion check with advantage. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a... That's a... And let me know on a scale of MCU to actual mythology and how bad is this look? <laughs> um... Yeah, I'd rather take closer to mythology, closer to mythology. I would say. Yeah, oh God, that's. Closer, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'd rather take the. Uh... Okay, he's good thing fake. I have advantage. He's 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 fake. Okay, uh, that's a nat twenty for a total of nineteen. Holy shit! For <laughs> minus one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. nat twenty. Thank goodness session. for advantage. Yeah. Um, hey, shut your mouth. Because <laughs> I rolled a two the first time. Thank. Oof. Uh, yeah, no, uh, the, Loki is the king of the fae and the god of tricks. Uh, well, the, you, you know Loki is the king of the fae and the god yes. of trickery. Oh, is he, is he a god? He's okay. the god, he's the god of okay. trickery and deception and... So wait, does that mean I can pray to him? Well, I mean, yeah, my... Like god. Marcus does and hear from him? Possibly, he is a god. <laughs> he is, his he just gets this huge glint in his eyes, <laughs> and yeah. his mouth just opens up. He goes, "Okay, what, okay, Mark, uh, how, how, how do? Wait, okay, he 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 focuses. I'll teach you how to pray. I'll teach you how to pray to the gods later, my lad. But does my god have beef with Loki? Remind me, which god is yours again?" It was the god of war. Tear? Yeah, is it? Is it? Because I, I said tear, like if it was Norse mythology, and I think you had an equivalent for your world. Oh, no. Hang on, I'm looking at my equivalent right now, the god of <laughs> well, war. Yeah, because you've got... I can't remember the name, but... Yeah, you've got like three different pantheons, though. You do, yeah. If you it's got the big pantheon, you got the normal pantheon, then you got like the demon... If, it was. It, I think it was the normal pantheon. It was definitely oh, yeah. Because the well, because then he's actual... got like the celestials. He's got the ascended, and then he's got the um the fae. If you say the name, I'll remember. Oh yeah, the ascended. I did forget that. Well, the ascended, the ascended are a part of the yeah. So the ascended count as part of the celestials. I just want to know um, if Kieran would be really yeah, upset yeah. about this. I'm about counting. This I'm counting the celestials as like, like your Adra, you know. Yeah, basically, yeah. The ones yeah. who the ones who partook in creation so, and all that fun jazz. That a, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, there's only eight of those, maybe eight of those left. Um, so, y'all don't. Do know. I hate Loki or well, I guess not. Hang me, on, hang on. I'm, I'm finding him. I'm reading on it right now because I, unfortunately I don't have all that memorized because I would die. Um, but you're talking about another there he is. But... All right, Thorelion, the god of combat, honor, and protection. Yeah, no, he's got beef with Loki. Oh, no. Well, that's so, a, that's com- a lot to put on Combat, this, but... honor, and protection because he hates pranks. To This guy really isn't particularly... <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me share with with the the, the players real quick. Um, okay, so for yeah, those just of you share, who just see this, yeah. um, he's basically Sorry, he's got a Loki ask helmet. <laughs> yep. Um, he no one can really see. He he's under like everything about him is just kind of glowing, so you can't really see what he actually looks like under his his glowing armor and his everything is just surrounded in this aura of brilliance. But, uh, yeah, no, this guy has beef with all Fae. He does not like the Fae, never did. He considers them a corrupted form of deities. Um, he also has a helmet that is very Loki-esque in appearance with the long horns and everything. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'm only kind of religious, so I just kind of look at Wellington and go, we'll unpack that later. Oh, let's go. <laughs> what do you mean we'll unpack that later? What's the problem with that? It's not really a problem. People can worship whoever they want, but the Loki... I don't worship him. He's my buddy. He's like my uncle. That could be so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. I don't worship him. We just hang out. Could we be just so vibe. much worse. We just vibe hey. together. Yeah, well, pretty much. Or better. So, so I but leave, you, uh... you, you said you could teach me how to pray to them. 
and then they'll hear me. (laughs) So I can just tell him about all my things without having to be right there, and he can respond? I don't know if that's how Loki works, but that's how Therelion works, my god. Bitch, just answer my text message. Right? Let's... Let's get on. I'll show you that does, one. After does, on. Ke- is, does Kevin work that way as well? I don't think so. I think it's only gods. Okay. As far as I know, anyway. Or I guess warlocks with their patrons, but that's a whole nother mess. But anyway, let's get moving. Is that... Wait. What? 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 What is that? A warlock? Yeah. Like how do that? Is, how does that work? It's someone who sells either their soul or something else to someone with extreme power in exchange for a piece of that power. But their soul is bound to that. It could be a god. It could be a devil. It could be a giant snake. I had ah, a friend okay. who did that once. It was weird. Help. I I I, I didn't do that. He just taught Kevin. Just taught me how to do stuff. That's it all. Doesn't really seem like something you do. Seems that seems more like a what. Uh, Ab- Ab- Abby, that's her name, right? Abby? Yeah. Abigail? Eh, Abby shorter. <laughs> Just to annoy so, Abigail. You're not wrong. Yeah, it is right. shorter. Technically speaking. Technically. Um, well, Abigail. Abigail could. So, another form of uh, warlock patron bond. <laughs> Almost said bondage. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> could potentially be like a a, a, a formal like a written agreement. um agreement between them that they will teach you this in return for these goods and services but it has to be an insanely powerful being like someone like i don't know say histon uh an ancient necromancer or uh or a va- powerful vampire powerful Loser. mummy something like that um, something where they're powerful enough that, that they, it's clearly a one-sided relationship as far as who's on top. Good gosh, why am I using these analogies tonight? Um, That's not true, though. Histon because was, you titled Histon the stream The Flaming Gay, so... Gotta make <laughs> <laughs> if Histon can do it, literally, they let anybody do this. So, <laughs> I, as, I'm ex- as Kieran is explaining Warlocks to Wellington... It's like, so if you ever have a really big problem that your magic can handle or I can't bonk to death... That's when I go ask Kevin. Right, and by the way, it gets really bad. You could ask Loki, and he could probably make you a warlock, give you more power. That's true. I also do ask Loki. Loki helped me. Uh, he got Alfteen to help me, and but then Alfteen was not very like excited about when he, she saw Marcus. Right, so what happened with Marcus again? I don't know. I saw him, and then I saw him like less than a day later, and he was like, "I got rid of him." But seems like quite the progression. I hope he's all right. Yeah, I don't know. But if he tries to hurt you again, I'll just chop his hands off. I like Marcus, but you're my boy, my little pal, you're, you're my rotten so- my my rotten soldier. Yeah, my sweet cheese. Covers a fist bump. Wait, why am I cheese? Because you're because you're small and you like to eat snacks, and I like I like cheese. Fist bump. Okay, he like slowly, just awkwardly, kind of like fist bumps. Good lad. Now, I love the general Harrison... consensus of Faye don't understand what how mortals work. Right mm-hmm. now, if you what? could have Harrison stop painting my fucking horse. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. I will throw him. Oh, he'd probably at... love that. I will throw him at Abigail, and she'll get annoyed, and she'll kill him. <laughs> well, I mean, it's to be fair. Abigail... At this point, Abigail the last time he is saw doing. The group, Abigail was the most like angry. Ab- so Abigail is doing a lot of soul searching right now. So she... I don't think she would necessarily <laughs> kill him right away. It might really That's annoy her, her, and she might not like it. But I don't think it would be an immediate reaction. That's good um, for her. I'm glad she's working but, on herself. But you know, if if it's if just painting the horse blue, you know, I real, you know, the thing with pranks here. Can I give you a little secret? Sure. 
Okay, so you just need to not let it bother you because me and uh like Harrison and Kaylee, the reason we pull pranks is because we like getting a reaction out of people. And you give a big reaction when things like this happen. So if you just stop giving a shit, maybe he would stop painting your horse blue because he you get a reaction. He gets a reaction out of you. And he's like, this is funny. And it is. It is funny. I'm sorry to say that, Karen. It is funny. Fine. Your pain amuses me. Fine, I'll try next time. At least he's smart enough not to go after Rioff. That bear would absolutely just eat him. Yeah, I don't think he would. I tell Rioff not to eat people, but he, you know... I, th I think Rioff would actually kind of, if he knew it could actually, like, push your buttons as well, he might actually find some amusement out of it, too. Most most things like to see get some amusement out of reactions. I feel like Rioth would get in on the joke, especially if he knew he could go back to normal fairly painlessly and easily later. Yeah. Well, uh, he can I'll... be reasoned with. Your horse cannot be reasoned with. <laughs> yes, it can be reasoned with if you know how to talk. I to mean, him. I can talk to the horse, but you can't. That's fair. I can. You can. <laughs> Actually, oh, no, I lost that because I'm not a barbarian anymore. For it reference for the audience, hate. Kieran is not a barbarian anymore. He's a rune knight fighter because he did soul searching. Soul searching for everyone, except Marcus. <laughs> Only soul flaying for Marcus. Only soul flaying. Ka <laughs> Callie soul searching what she found rich. Basically. So, Kieran is a... Sp well, thanks for the tip, Wellington. Now, I think, yes, here we are. And I guess we would get to... Uh, the keep or yep. wherever the the place yes the place with the people indeed so uh yeah as you guys arrive at the keep um there are there are several hunters kind of out and about um training resting whatever between between excursions out into the world beyond um there are uh, there are a few individuals who kind of like they kind of look your way and kind of give you a subtle nod. Um, it's basically okay. Who here has seen Kung Fu Panda? Go on. <laughs> All right. So you know how they have like the house with the double doors, and then out front there's just a big training yard. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're all out in the training yard, and then beyond that is the double doors into a large house, just one big house. That's kind of their little guild hall, um, where they all have their own little room to sleep in. And uh, you, Kieran, you'd know there's an inner courtyard as well, mm -hmm. um, where you can, once again, do more training. Um, but that is also where the, the Grand Master usually sits and kind of meditates. I lead while I sit inside, and I'm like, right, so who do you want to talk to, lad? Whoever is the big person in charge. Right. Oi, Grandmaster! <laughs> at your at your outburst, a few people kind of like jump, and they just point inside. Right. I walk in, and I go find the Grandmaster. All right. Now, kneeling on... Uh... Uh, in the inner sanctum is uh, a what? where's his description alright is this an old crotchety elf as well no you know for your elves being freaking immortal there are a lot of old ones there are there are what there are a lot of old elves for them being immortal well yeah it, it takes years for them to age so, out of character, uh, Alberion is 17,002. Absolutely. So, Kirdon from... Actually, you guys wouldn't know who that is. Okay, so there's an elf that wasn't in the Lord of the Rings films, but he was in the book. I know who he is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kirdon is the shipbuilder so that built the ships that Frodo and co. sailed into the, into the sunset at the end of the last movie in. He wasn't in the movie, but in the books, he was 
as old as the world was. He was roughly 20,000 years old, and he had long white hair and a long white beard. Physically, he still only looked about 50 or 60 years old, but he had his hair was like snowy white. So elves age to an extent, but it takes tens of thousands of years for it to happen. So that's kind of what happens with these elves. Once they hit a, you know, thousands and thousands of years old, they plateau. They plateau. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, you're not plateau. looking any older than this, but you get to everyone who sees you. It's like, hey, huh, you look kind of old. Oh my gosh, that means you're really old. And there aren't many of them like that. You guys just happen to, you know, run into the handful that Prince have been Orange. around for a long ass time. Um. All right, now there he is. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, kneeling is, he's dressed in brown robes, um, kind of gives a Jedi tunic feel to, uh, to what he's wearing. Go. Um, I stand. I stand. What was his name? Uh, his name is Master Callius. Uh, he hey. has kind of a light purple skin, uh, short white beard and kind of a short white hair pulled back to, into a ponytail. Um... No, black horns that. that kind of come from his brow and um he has a he has a long sword that is is sheathed at his side so since um, i've been here for a while i've got a candidate that i've been calling him this because of the i know someone named callie and i've explained to him numerous times why i call him this like oi old man callie <laughs> hey he's old man callie you're young you're a young girl callie right <laughs> oi old man callie he's gonna kind of sigh what is it? Hey, I brought my friend here. Pick one thing up. What put him it? down in front of him. He's a raccoonicorn, and he has Aye. questions. Raccoonicorn. Never seen one of your kind before. Yeah, we we we're kind of rare. Um, but anyways, so that doesn't really matter. What matters is that there's a massive attack of the fiendish variety. And devilish variety that's happening on the other side of the continent and is going to affect the rest of the continent, most likely. Um, that is probably being spearheaded by someone we used to know named Marcus, and it is not really a good thing. And Whoa. we probably need to help, uh, like get rid of this problem because it will probably affect here too. And wouldn't you all like to leave and be able to go to other places? Are you saying you have a way off this rock? Potentially. Potentially. Explain. Well, okay. So, like, we had some people here that were obviously, like, not up to, to good things. And they were opening portals. And then some people found portals. And they went bamf. And I went bamf. And I ended up back where uh, I grew up, which is in, like, and well, part of where I grew up, which is the Fey realm. And then uh, Marcus and some others ended up there through one of these portals. I don't know if it was open. I think it was actually opened by someone else. But anyways, there was port. There's a bunch. There was a bunch of portals on the island. And yeah, so then uh, I sent those people off the island through the portals and they are now safe and they are OK. Um, but the, a lot of people here are not OK, but uh the, if we defeat the uh enemies um it will be easier and more okay uh to contact kevin and uh the others and they could probably help create some portals and we could get off the island so that's that now master callius there's a quiz leader you better remember all of that <laughs> <laughs> he's he just stares at you unnervingly unblinkingly um he's just kind of staring back like unblinking as well now i, was say, I thought wellington was gonna like lizard blink at him right <laughs> no, he's just, he just and in like as he like as the silence grows on he's just gonna slowly inch look closer and closer and closer just like really slowly but hit like eyes like just like moving in Harris just watching this and he's like, I forgot how fucking weird you are. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, Callie, he's my son, so 
answer anything. Why did yeah, I respond? I vouch for him. I vouch oh. for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what he's been telling you, but uh, yeah. Anyways, you can ask me any questions you need to. All right. So, first of all, how'd you manage to wrangle it so? You said Faye? Yeah. We've never been able to get any outside help. We've never even been able to contact other planes. Trust me, priests have been trying for millennia. Uh, I could go there right now if I needed to. He pulls out like a little tuning fork and he pulls out a little dagger. He's like, watch. And if I go like this, ding. He's like, now I could do this little spell and I could be like, give it, here I come. Run. But I'm not, I don't think that's a good idea right now. But I'm not going to do it. Trust me, I could though. Uh-huh. I could though. Promise. He can't, he can't like leans back. He's, he's sitting. Okay. Qui-Gon's kneeling position when he's he, between combat with Maul. That's how he's sitting. He's like, uh -oh. he's just kind of like, Leans back a little bit and goes, uh huh. So, Karen, you vouch for him. You believe him? He's a worthy little shite, but usually his words have merit. So, yeah, I vouch for him. I mean, if you need to know what things look like, I can, like, explain it. Or I could, I guess I could show you. I know what it looks like. He's going to cast Minor Illusion and, like, in the pump, like, in the palm of his hand, be like where Kevin would be like if he was next to him floating and be like, that's Kevin. That's that's Kevin. That's Kevin. And then he like does this and like shimmies it away and goes, OK, now, 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 now here's this. And he go he casts it again and he has like Loki walk in. And he's like, that's Loki. This is Loki insane is what it is. Ah! And then, and then he does this. He does this again, and he goes, "Okay, now the one that some people around here might know. I don't know. Um, he's gonna go, and let's do this one. Let's do this one more time. And he does, and he has Alf Teen walk through. And he goes, "That's Alf Teen." Okay, why tiny little raccoon corn <laughs> casually hanging out with gods. Whatever. Okay, why are you? Uh, why are you demonstrating what? What? deities look like well why would i not know what they look like i know them excuse me he he stands up he goes over to to a, a small corner it's a small shrine he like slides open a couple of drawers pulls out a book flips through. he walks over and holds up and there's perfect portraits of the various fey deities as he kind of flips through uh, he doesn't. Uh, that's not quite accurate. No, okay. look, 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 look. Let me show you again. And he does Loki again. He's like, see, see how he has like the stubble and all that on like the side of like right here, and like how he's a little, he's he's a bit unkempt, but he's keeping his cool because he's that type of person. All right, I'm going to go along with this because Kieran has been. Okay, what do you need to not do? What do you need to believe me, huh? I w I could I could see a portal to another world. That would be really nice. Um, okay. But not right okay. Here. You're not. Ding. It's <laughs> <laughs> like boom. Ignored. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> um, the entire he, courtyard. You hear the sounds he, of true he, movements. He he he, he like he like. He's like right next to her. He's like, "Are you ready to go to see Kevin?" Boom. Ready to go see God? Go see the gods. <laughs> I'm from with him. Okay. I'm from with him. Um. <laughs> Are you ready to meet God? What the fuck? Did you wait? Did, um, did I'm, you I, actively I, open up a place then? Portal? Uh, I'm I'm plane shifting. Oh, you're I'm plane using plane shifting. shift. Oh, I'm plane shit. So I'm I'm plane shifting. Ever, I'm just plane like shifting him. No one attempted to do plane shift. He's like, I'm okay. plane shi well, because of what you need, they might not be able to. That's a problem. That's true. You do That's need true. a tuning fork. Yep. Yes, and I have those things. Yep, you do. Um, so I'm I'm yeah. taking me the Grandmaster yes, and Kieran to see to see to see Kevin. 
Because Kevin made sure I could go and like That's pop true. in whenever yep, yep, I needed yep. to. All right, yeah. So he's there. And he's like, he just immediately draws his sword and he goes, "Okay." Well, he has to be willing. I mean, he's he not. Make a save. He he didn't believe that he he didn't think anything was gonna happen, so he didn't think to resist. Okay. He wasn't unwilling. He wasn't. Well, he was just kind of neutral towards it. We're just like at the front of Kevin's door, and I like start knocking. <laughs> Kevin, he's got his sword out. He's kind of like, All right, you don't I, need that. Don't need I that. Don't don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Please put it away. It's hey. really not. It's really not smart. You're don't fine. Please, We're fine, please. old man Kelly. She's the sword. Okay. Okay, that was unexpected. But it means you're right. I'll I'll buy it. Then uh, Kevin goes. Uh, Yes. Hello. Uh, hey. Oh, hi, so Kevin. you're Kevin. Yes, I'm Kevin. <laughs> so, Hello. So sorry you for. When he puts his hand I, up, I know I should he, not be like doing this really hand, just willy nilly. I should not be doing. I should not be doing this just casually. I know that, but I needed to prove the point that that you were real, Kevin, and um that uh. I've, out of curiosity, did you know that Loki is a god? Sir Wellington, yes, that's, that's common knowledge. I didn't know that! So I was told that I could maybe pray to him and he would just hear me? I... We'll worry about that later. He lowers his voice to try and so that the others can't really hear it, and he goes, Listen, um, listen to Hanala. Why did you bring two more strangers to my doorstep? I, did, did I, I told them that we need to fight the people and okay. save the Ophirin continent. Ophirin is still very steamed over what happened last time. I was able to smooth it over, but just barely. Okay. He's keeping a pretty close eye on me, so I don't want those two in danger as well. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I think this is good. Um, Are we good to go back now? Are you guys good? I, yeah, fine. I, yeah, I, I guess I'm good. Kevin, can you send us back? I need to rest before yeah, I can do yeah, that sure, again. Sure, And you're all back in the courtyard. There is an army literally surrounding the area where you disappeared. They're like, our weapons are out and they're breaking. Hey, put Let's your weapons away. Back. Put your weapons <laughs> it's away. Okay. It's okay. Hi. We're just put them away, doing, doing a little test. Just a do test. Do you want just, cookies? Just, just... I, I look at one of the he guards. He looks and like, down at Sir Wellington like, are you for real? <laughs> I look at one of the and guards he, pointing a he, blade at he one reaches, of the He reaches into his bag and just like like starts putting, like pull, you see him pull out like a little plate, like a little ornate plate, puts it on the ground, and you see him just start pulling out cookies, putting them onto the plate, like a serving platter. And he goes, I have cookies if people would like some. Uh, Kieran's going to take one of the... Blades, a few people come up and eat. There's a gruff dwar uh, dwarven woman who comes up and eats a couple from the one shot with Brandon. Uh, <laughs> nice. I'm one of the swords is be pointed at Wellington. I'm just gonna like pick it up and look at it. No, don't make me snap your tip, boy. Put it yeah. away. And I just like gently guide his sword down. <laughs> also, I guess I'm six eight, so I guess it'd be more like this. Oh gosh. Be like. He's with me, lads. Yeah, um... Don't worry, guys. We we got everything under control here. Everyone kind of is... It's a little bit uneasy, but... They relax, as ordered. Okay, so... What do you need help with, then? Yeah, I mean, we just need help getting right out of the people. Very well, then. All right. Uh, give me a few minutes. I will collect some of my best troops, and um, we will we will head out there. All right. Okay, I can take us over. I can. I rephrase. I can take up to eight people over there. And I'm one of them. So, really, I'm going. Okay, so I can take up to seven other people over there immediately. I know it will take other people a lot longer, unless you have other people who can test teleport. We have a few, yes. It's, it's uh, a more well, effective means of traveling quickly on this continent. Okay, well then, then I I can I can what I can do is I can uh, show people what the place looks like in my head, 
and then I can like connect Where with those did you people. Come from? Oh, it was a castle. It Perfect. had lava no, next well, to it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. It, the answer is from with Kevin. I'm gonna just like well, if then hold off on teleporting us. I'll be right back. I need to go say goodbye to somebody. I need to rest a little while first. We should do this like let people get together and we do it first thing in the morning. I think that to, would be a better, to... better idea. I'm okay, do you want to come back. sleep at my house? Sure. Okay. Puts willing to back on my shoulder. I claimed it. I claimed the armchair though while you're in the bed. Okay, that's fine. That's a lot. Uh, right. Unless uh, I'm allowed to dig a hole under your house. You are not allowed to dig a hole under my house. Dang it. <laughs> I, look at, uh, I like how old that's man hurt Cal Naz. <laughs> I look at old man Kelly and I go, right, old man Kelly, we'll, uh, we'll be back. Gather your seven or your six, I guess, if you're coming with us. And we'll be back in the morning. Roger that. I, I guess do... you get to see the other Kelly then tomorrow, maybe, if they're still alive. Wait, why would Kelly not be alive? Well, Marcus was not being very nice. Oh, with he was smacking shit. people around. So, I don't know who's all alive or dead. Mentally screaming, stop hitting my kids! <laughs> <laughs> well, good news for you. He's no longer hitting the kids. That is true. I, I like how if Marcus was in his right frame of mind, he would be like, they were my kids for longer, but he's like, but they're not mine anymore. <laughs> I feel like Callie would look at Marcus and be like, you're not my real dad, and run up to Kira. Not my dad! Yeah, probably. That's my dad. <laughs> but then, because, like, her parents are still very no, well alive. Yeah. Because... <laughs> right? You can have two dads, or three in this case. But... Three? <laughs> yes, say, seven think... dads, Callie. It's fine. Society's what's, uh, progressing. What's that Bojack Horseman? It's a Hollyhock has the seven dads. <laughs> it's just seven dads. So, just look uh, at her. She's adorable. On the way, on the way home, uh, Kieran is going to stop at the tavern. He's his lady friend. I'm just going to walk in. All right, Wellington, we'll be here for a second, then we'll head home. Okay. I walk in, and I see her, and I walk up to her, and I'm like, oh, hey, beautiful. Oh, oh hey, lady. Could you get me uh, apple juice? This is Sir Wellington. Um, he's, he's, this is Sir Wellington. He's my, uh, he's, he's my little lad. Hi. Pleasure to meet you, Sir Wellington. You have a fine establishment here. It's it's not mine. I just work here, but thank you. No, oh, good job at oh. keeping it tidy. She's very he very gives, soft. He gives her he gives he gives her a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, I came here to tell you that. Well, there's a lot I have to tell you, but Wellington is going to be staying with us tonight. Oh, this. Oh, okay. I see. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Hello, my name is Wellington. You can call me Sir Wellington. Um, the what you bet you you, you should you should treat this person here well. The last time he was in a relationship, he oh, had to no. kill the last person <laughs> because she turned into a demon. It was not okay. It was not a good time. He he may I don't know if he is traumatized or not. Please treat him well. Would you like a cookie? Well, it caused him to reevaluate his entire life and not be a barbarian anymore. So <laughs> he just, she just kind of looks at I'm him. I'm really and... glad I told. I'm really glad I told you about Yersa before you met Wellington. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Otherwise, I would have been more than a little. Concerned. Well, thank you, Wellington. I appreciate it. And he ruffles his fur. Of his course. He, <laughs> of he course. reaches out like the cookie. Would do you want this or not? If you don't want it, I'll have it. But she takes. You can cookie. have it. I will have cool. to eat the cookie, and she she's like, "Oh, that's really good." Kevin taught me well. I don't know. Yeah, apparently, Wellington's about. friend with a fairy named Kevin. <laughs> he cooks cookies in his tree. Really? He's just the he's just the keyboard elf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait, wait. All this time and and Cole's the first one to figure that out. He's just the keyboard elf. 
What? Yeah. He's a fucking Keebler elf? Is that yes, what you said? Yes. That's yes. so dumb. He's a fae that can't make cookies. He's a little fae. He's a, he's a tiny, yes. fits in the palm of your hand sized fairy that cooks cookies in a tree. That is a Keebler elf. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> the How biggest thought twist like of the back, campaign been has been revealed. Sessions. I don't know what that is. That's how I didn't realize it. <laughs> It's it's so oh, little, it's it's have in Canada. In Canada? Oh, Keebler might be an American thing. Yeah. Wait, it's is a, this a real thing? thing? Yes, there's yeah, a there's brand a of brand cookies. Is a, it's a cookie brand. And their mascot yeah. is a little is elves <laughs> that bake in a treehouse. That's yeah. really cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what that is. That's what, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to look at my. And r remind me what was the name <laughs> that we decided on. For for his is group. Is that why you is Kevin? No, the, huh? the girl. Oh, Tawny. Tawny's the girl. Tawny, that's right. That's right. I, I don't know what those elves' names are. I just named mine Kevin because I was like, eh, ah, it's, it's an elf. I mean, well, Kevin. Tawny, uh, Tom? There's, <laughs> there's a lot I, I have to minions. There's a lot I need to tell you come the morning. Or tonight, probably, but uh, yeah, it might tonight might be better. You're gonna be gone tomorrow, right? Um, so what, what time is your shift over? Because when you get home, I need to talk to you. I've I, I done in about another hour or so. Well, when you get home, I'll have something to talk to you about, but I have to, I leave, for, I have to leave for a little while to help some friends. But why, why are we not just waiting here for her? Because unless your cooking has vastly improved, I think the food will be better here. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Boom roasted. He's going to flick Wellington on the nose real quick. Hey, oh, that, that was not called for. It was a little called for. Okay, fine. Maybe. Fine. We'll, no, we'll, no. we'll, we'll walk Karen, home together and then Karen I pick dear. Wellington and Put Kieran, him down. Kieran, yes. Remember that time we had the romantic dinner and you did everything, and I ended up recooking everything. It it was fair what he said. Listen, <laughs> I'm not good at cooking. I'm good at fighting, and a few other things that start with the letter F. You? That's true. Hey, yo. She turns a little yo. bit darker brown. Hey yo. <laughs> That's <laughs> you're not wrong. Okay. Calm down. You you've also you've also <laughs> he pat he pats it he pat he pats he pats Kieran on job. the back of his Body head, hand. like a tiny hand just like on the back of the head, going calm down, <laughs> calm down, boy. He'll well, be. I guess we'll have a uh, well Wellington with you all to eat, and I sit Wellington down in one of the chairs, and then I sit next to him. So it's kind of funny. He literally looks just like Drax and Rocket just sitting next to each yes! other. Yes, that's so yes. cute. Oh, to to. Just if Drax so, the, no, it's just Thor and Rocket sitting that next to each area other. Where yeah. I want to ask if they have it, but I should also wait for my meal with Albarian to have it at the place that it's supposed to be. But I want to try it. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to even ask because I'm not. Gonna... Do you have chicken pot pie? We do. Do you? Want I'll have that, please. Okay. Thank you. And I'll just have that uh, the chicken thing you made the other day, that chicken parmesan or whatever it was. Of course. And meat. Well, then you can't As have always. any meat yet. Oh, wait, you're an adult. Never mind. Well, <laughs> you you have gave meat. me... What do you mean? You gave me some earlier. Well, I didn't get uh, no, some meat. No, no, well. no. I, I, want, I want apple juice. Uh, fine, apple juice for, for Wellington. I'll drink the meat. Be right back with mead and... Just wait juice. till Sir Wellington tries, like, a good apple cider for the first time. Oh, yeah. That's what she's coming back with. <laughs> um. So, after a bit, she does return, sure enough, with some apple cider and um, some nice mead. Uh, you guys have a nice meal. Um, it, it, Here's Wellington. It is good. It is very good. The, this, is, this is not normal apple juice. This is good. What is this? Oh, that's a little thing called cider lads. It's alcoholic apple juice. That's dangerous. 
That's very dangerous. <laughs> That's how I feel about me. Oh my god, he's a he's a white lady in a bar. <laughs> he, he, hey, yes. you leave you leave my real life girlfriend alone. She loves oh, cider. Oh, those are dangerous. She loves oh cider so much. Stop. No, it's like it's the moment whenever you get them like a really nice drink and they drink and they're like, oh, those are dangerous. It's like, girl, stop. <laughs> well, note that this is someone who has not like the taste of alcohol prior to this. Oh, so you find your drink. This is the moment you find your drink. Yep. Yes, that, 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 that's the problem. That's where it, that, that is where Sir Wellington is going, this is dangerous. Because he's, <laughs> he, he's aware of how alcohol works. He's aware of his body mass. <laughs> but he just went, this he, tastes really good and this is sweet. It comes in I want more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. yes yes that's pretty much what it is he's like <laughs> he oh, another, he it's basically glass. it's basically a little italian man who just lived under a rock what? his whole life and never got to try actual alcohol Have why you is met? he italian because he's little really little it's mamma mia i don't good. know any other people groups that are that that little is like it's a little italian man <laughs> Who likes sweet what? What? <laughs> what? I don't get out much. Mark... I married into yeah, it. Not say, every man. Italian is Mario. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, also, I have seen a lot more short Asian. Italian and fiction is Mario. Okay. No also, I, I, I've seen many, many, many more Asian people, much shorter than Italians. The yeah, problem is Japan. the only people I knew were Koreans and Japanese who are all my height or taller, and a lot of them were female. I'm like, if the girls are this tall, yeah. the guy's got to be even taller. This That's the way my brain way. works. Oh. This is Markham's way of revealing he's a short king. Yeah. I'm short not king. that short. I'm 5'9". No. Yeah, Markham is taller than me. <laughs> I just... Barely, but he's taller than me. My sister meanwhile, brings me home and... very tall friends Six, from college. Five. I think me, she me, I was about to say, meanwhile, me and Matt are over here just like, Okay, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican is another Puerto Rican. We could go Puerto okay, Rican. Okay, so anyway. Despite all, Rican. Rican. all of this. Any horse. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just... Oh, uh, well, do you want another glass, Wellington? Um, You're going to sleep uh, in my chair anyway, so. Uh, he, uh, um, I'm I have a hangover go chair for you in the morning. Don't worry. Is it more of this? Because that's often what I see you drinking in the morning. <laughs> Listen, I also use this little magical thing I have to help with hangovers. And just because I put it in my mead doesn't mean it doesn't work. <laughs> you just. He's forgetting us. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, he 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 controls himself because I, I I don't think that it is the wise idea. I really like it, and I will have another another time. But um, do they have normal apple juice now? Fair enough, dear. Can we get him some normal apple juice now? Oh, absolutely. Is that not what he wanted? No, he wanted like actual like just the juice of no alcohol. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I knew you were going let to do that, so that. I... But she goes to take the cider away to replace it with regular... I... Oh, the it... cider's done. Yeah, he drank it all. <laughs> it's a... You get the mug. You can just get the mug. Well, it, it was like, he liked like, that it. Was really... I drink <laughs> he was like, it was really good, but it would not be wise for me to have another one, I think. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me get you some apple juice. Thank you. He's going to be so messed up in the morning. <laughs> Just oh, drinking yeah. apple juice after apple juice. He'd be better Are you bringing him night. another cider? No, just apple juice. I just have oh. But as someone who's, you know, once I, I... Trust me, if you if you taste apple juice and you're like, this is good, and you're like... <laughs> you take like four glasses of that, you feel awful in the morning. Uh, and when, when she gets back, I'll be like, oh, by the way, and then I'll pull her and give her a kiss, and then just be like, see you, see you we'll see you in a few minutes. And then I leave a 100% tip. Aww. <laughs> Knowing that it's going to be right going back right back. I will die. Yeah, I was, no, I was going about right to say, back to me. <laughs> I was about to say, it, it makes it look good, but it's going right back to him, so it doesn't really matter. We have our separate finances. That's she has her bar true. work. She has her bar work. I have my killing demons money. <laughs> blood so, money. You do. Bar yeah, money and blood money. What? Why did you put well, more I'm money not... on the? Why did you put more money on the table? Yeah, because uh, just give it a little bit extra. That's called tipping. It's when you give people more money than what it costs because they did the good job serving you. 
because some places that's how people have to make their money. It's oh, it's awful. Okay. But... He he reaches into his bag and goes, "I guess I can part with this one," and puts down a little uh, emerald on the table. Oh, oh my gosh! Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Here he sees that he just he just goes. And as soon he as, has as so as, much of that stuff. As soon as Toddy walks back, he grabs the emerald and puts it in her pocket. Don't lose that. She looks at it. She's <laughs> like, Don't lose it. That's, for, that's a gift from Wellington. I say, he said she's tipping just... is good, so they, they have, thank you. Thank, thank you. So much. Markham, you are completely silent. <laughs> she's, she says, thank you. Th- yeah, so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so you Karen, took my you, you away. Said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Um, Karen, you need to teach me how to pray. All right, we'll do that at home. Okay. We gotta wait on Tani, and then we'll go home. Okay. And then I'll teach you how to pray, and then I'll get you a, a nice little bed set up on the chair. No, that's okay. You just want to sleep on the chair. That's fine. All right, that's fine. And uh, let's figure out. I guess I'll leave the real here with her. Let's, since why are we re- leaving Rioth here? Why is he not staying at the house? No, at the house is what he meant. Like whenever he leaves in the morning. Oh, okay. I, I meant like, we'll sense. leave. We'll leave Rioth here in the city with Tani until we can come back. Yeah, that. that... I don't need Rio taking up another slot. He is a pretty <laughs> strong bear, but he's also a bear. That doesn't matter. I can only transfer eight people or things, so he would take up a slot, and we don't need Rio to, to take up a slot right now. Yeah, plus, Tani would probably get a little lonely if Rio was gone. Aww. She yeah, has a horse. Like taking the dog and going on a trip. I know, right? <laughs> See, well, I'll I'll... be back. I'm taking the dog. <laughs> what do I get? The house... Well, then I will well. uh, go, <laughs> Wellington, she can't talk to the horse, so it's... Okay, well, I'll tell, I'll tell uh, Kaylee to come by and hang out with her. I think she'd like that. She does and like children. I'll, and then I'll tell Harrison to behave himself, but to hang out as well. Right. At, <sighs> at least I will tell him not to be too bad. Some pranks are okay. He's going to smile, and he's just like, Gives Wellington a little scratch behind the between the ears. And he's like, all right. And then we wait for Tani's shift to be over, I guess. All right. Uh, she eventually wraps up, and you guys are able to head home and get some rest together. While you guys are doing that, we're going to pan over five minutes after Abigail and Callie are able to get their – they get, you know, they get set the camp up. It's a little bit, you know, dusty from the blast. Um, one of the tents blew over. Um, you know, you kind of fix it up. You lay down and you go, and then you hear, and then you hear the voices of Albarian and Marcus talking. <laughs> no sooner do you lay down to sleep. That's why I said you don't get your short rest. <laughs> as soon as Callie hears Marcus, she is running to him. Uh, like, I'm gonna... the cartoon okay. style scrambling up. Oh, no, he... Marcus, make a strength save. Oh, he already made a... Oh, okay, he made a constitution save. Constitution save. To what, not faint? Not to fear, because he'd never been teleported before. That's oh, gonna... you're right. Yeah, no, lunch came up. Actually, lunch can't come up because this body's never eaten. You know, so thankfully, even though he does already have an empty stomach, he does not peak, but like he kind of like does that burp a little bit, or it's like you... Burp and you feel like you're gonna puke, yeah. but it's not. He goes, "Oh my, that is very different from a poor." And by the way, that's a. Uh... Hold on, okay, that's what it is. He's already experienced teleportation once. Yeah, you he, went to the bedroom. You no, went that's through, a through a portal. Through a portal. Yeah, that's but you like got ba- you got bamf back. Oh, that's true. You did. You got oh, banished yeah. back into. In, so this is not the first time you've experienced well, this. Well, you didn't do well on that con save, so because you did poorly on the last con save, <laughs> you have to make another. <laughs> You're yeah. not used to it yet. We'll say that's what what yeah. happened. Anyway. New body, a, still working out the kinks. 
That's a ten. New body for the who That's a ten for the New body suit. who dis. He's right. Okay, that is that is a fifteen strike. So you are getting knocked the fuck over. <laughs> yeah, he just goes. Uh, just all right, get I bodied. I do not get off, oh, fuck guys. <laughs> You're alive. You're oh. okay. Oh. Hi, Callie. Callie should make a perception check. <laughs> this no, Callie no this Callie notice he's a year younger. Yeah. Right. I mean a, a year few, you can't really tell. A actually it would be a few years younger. No, how old was Marcus? Marcus is not yeah. Eh, eh. Well, if it Hold brings on. you to maturity, you're at like nineteen or twenty. Let's be honest. Wait, I thought no, it was... no, no. Physical maturity is twenty-five. Oh, okay. Your okay, body stops think... developing at twenty-five. All parts of it stop growing, and that's when things start to deteriorate. Which is why it doesn't age beyond that, because you can't grow decay. If that makes sense. Yeah, to be fair, Marcus was twenty-five when this whole thing started, so he just. So he's he fine. Yeah, he, he can't. But, it's just clean shaven. <laughs> You know, he just, just if no she notices beard. the beard. Yeah, that's the thing. Does she notice that he does not have a beard or anything now? With the 16, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, she suddenly realizes that he wears your beard. She tackled him, hold him, look at me. Neck. Ow. Where's your beard? Uh, apparently, it did not grow in the tube. What are we calling it? A test tube? Is that? I think it's called a test tube. <laughs> He's called a, a test, test tube, baby. Tube, but... That's just how does me. it feel to now? How does it feel to now be a test tube baby? Yeah, you have no parents. <laughs> eh, to be fair, that's not a problem for Marcus. Anyway, oh, yikes! <laughs> yikes! He he a used to that. Marcus trauma. is dead. This oh, is the yeah. new Marcus. Abigail, how do you take that? You lay down. You're just you're just getting nestled under the into the into the bag, and all of a sudden you hear Marcus's voice again. <laughs> Like no, <laughs> the dreams oh, oh. aren't supposed to start this early. Not the nightmares again. <laughs> no. Just kinda... <laughs> no, we're gonna have Marcus do a perception check too. That's okay. True. Okay, that's not bad. That is a twenty-one. All right, wait. She's 22. got a morning star-shaped scar across her eye and her lip. Hey, cat. He's just gonna stop talking. Cool. And Fuck. he's just gonna. Kind of reach. Yeah, up. that's true. Dolores would. Have, oh, actually, Callie, you should be at least at. Ha you should hang on. Heal 34, 34 points. I okay, forgot to tell you that. It. Dolores healed her about a bunch. We're at a nice, easy, breezy thirty-five. He's yeah. He's gonna look up and just gonna absently just have to go. Fuck. So yeah, the the gaping wound would be healed to a scar from that much. Healing magic. And it's gold, too. Mm. Sorry. Because Janasi. Oh, I was like, I didn't know you were relatives of Midas. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, she, she, she <laughs> smelted down. Um, <laughs> remember your girlfriend? I herself. smelted her down, Sorsha, and used her to, like, heal myself. Okay. Yeah, I just <laughs> lathered it on. No, forge, forge shit. That 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 was that was my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have tied myself with your girlfriend's remains. <laughs> Honestly, that's fucking metal. Like that's apart from everything, that's it is. It's gold. Metal. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! It but is yeah. gold as metal. That's... Look, I. Okay, first, can I get up though? That was. That was a good tackle, but yeah, that kind of hurt. Yeah, okay, yep, sorry. Excited. Just, yeah, no, I don't blame you. Uh, and as she gets off, he's just going to sit up. Going to help him up. Hall. Oh. Yep, and you also notice that he is wearing literal rags. <laughs> Why are you naked? Why are you blue? Both him and the, the weird red-headed elf that's next to him. I'm not worried about him. Marcus is here. Yep. I don't uh, give a shit yeah, about the weird notice. elf man. I don't give a shit about weird elf man. Marcus. <laughs> Dad. He, he just kind of looks down and goes, "Well, they were kind of the best that Avarion could give." And I mean, to be fair, with this heat, it actually feels very, very nice. But anyway, 
You're very <laughs> poorly protected. That is a that can be issue. amended. We just need to find a location to raid for proper protection. I know a location. <laughs> Abigail's just... here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Perception check for both Abigail and I almost said Dolores. Abigail and um Callie. Hey, thank you, Dolores. She healed you. Oh, come on. That's a 13. 18. Okay, with an 18, um, with a 13, well, now it doesn't matter. So, because <laughs> Callie doesn't care and Abigail doesn't notice. Um, but Callie picks up that that voice sounds oddly like a de-aged, well, actually, I take it back. His voice wouldn't have aged, um, like with Elrond and stuff. So, yeah, it's it sounds like Alberion. Just a little bit more worry-free. It's just, almost like he's kind of been reminiscing... Well, you wouldn't know this, but it's like he's been reminiscing better days since he woke up like this. <laughs> Mark is just going to turn to... Uh, oh, Baron, go. Baron, I, he's just going to motion him. I got nothing. I, I literally don't even have a... Like a holy amulet to do anything with. How are we going to raid something? We oh, have wait, three spellcasters here. If you, and, and if, you a, if you need a if you need a holy um a uh, holy symbol, I have one. It, you do? Yeah, I've had it since I like stole a bunch of shit stuff. Um, I, wait, you stole? Wait, what? Hold on, I, who did I, you steal from? Uh, the ship, the the ruins. I found, you know, you, like. Okay, so you stole We weren't gonna stuff. use it! You stole stuff after the... You know what? I will count that as scavenging. That's, that's all right. Survivalist all right. stuff. I don't know what we were gonna find. Yes, yes, yes. That survivalist stuff, that that is permit. Anyway. But I did, fi I did find a uh, symbol to Ollie. And yet again, she can't see out of my life. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to remove a holy symbol from, uh, to Ollie from my inventory, which I have had since like session three. That's that is really awesome. awesome and impressive. <laughs> I love it when oh, stuff like, from the past comes back. Oh, like this is gonna be important at some point. I still have a mysterious acid dagger I haven't gotten identified, and and an ornate locked box. That's true. You're just gonna look at the amulet and like, yeah, you kind of see uh, his face go to like. It's sort of the look where it's like, you gotta work with a boss you don't like, but they're the only boss that actually gets shit done, so you have to deal with it. He's like, alright. And he just puts it around his neck. Alright. Either uh, way, I think we should rest for a bit, um, just to be safe. Um, um, yeah. You took quite I'm... a beating today, Callie. Marcus looks away at that. Come along, Dolores, Abigail, with me. Let them talk. Just going to camp usher the two of them back to yeah. the camp. <laughs> I, I don't know. What, I'll be you two work like, it out. It's <laughs> like, you know what? We need to leave you alone. Everyone, get out of the way. <laughs> he, as soon as they're going to go. I uh, know I don't deserve forgiveness from you, Callie. I don't expect it. Uh, Nothing you did. It was bullshit armor. That's not. But I. Hmm. I just. It's been. A pun unintended. It's been hell here, and I, I had so many people I thought I could trust. And I had people tell me to trust these people, and I got backstabbed, and, and Sir Wellington is someone impersonated Sir Wellington. 
I just the armor did make it worse, but let's be honest, it had some stuff to work with. And it convinced me that but Kali, I'm I'm sorry. That's all I can say. I know it'll never, never actually fix anything, because saying I'm sorry never does. Well, I mean, it's better than you not saying it. And I go the rest of my life thinking you actually hated me. Take that scar won't well, take back what I did. It's a kind of cool scar if you think about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess it is. Uh, just if you. I don't know if you want to give me like a black eye or something in return I won't say no <laughs> I, I just I just feel like a piece of shit <laughs> and I haven't felt like this for a long time and I fucking hate it <laughs> well if you're going to give me permission I might as well Right. <laughs> he, he just kind of just sounds like he blows. It's one action. You're like it's what you're like it's one action. So I mean, it's, it's a bonus action. Yeah. He's just gonna just kind of. <sighs> All right. He's just gonna prepare. He's like, go ahead. <clears throat> She's gonna just, stick her uh, just uh, just holds the thumb right there, lets it heats up, burns him a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> that's how Marcus died. And because died. permanently he died. <laughs> <laughs> no, you grab your full face in Full Urukai just burned the hand. Mark. Calm anyway. him. No, she's gonna stick her knuckles right into like the flesh of his cheeks and just hold it there. He's just gonna kind of open the eye because he's he like kind of brace himself, and as he really he just kind of opens his eye and looks down at the knuckles. I'm glad he's alive. Slowly lets it heat up though to just like <laughs> make him sweat. I have I have no slow heat up. It is just instant combust. It is just burn, bitch, burn. Yeah, it is literally just burn. Zero to owl. Yep, yeah. zero to Al. Zero to flamethrower. So yeah, he's just gonna go go. I'm glad to be alive. I gotta say sorry to Sir Wellington and I hope I hope he forgives me. Dolores has to stop me from running into lava. Wait, wait, wait. What? He goes like he forgets that like oh I'm sad as I goes for that wait why why are you running to okay Callie I know you are a fire elemental but that does not mean you can run into fire and not get hurt not not an elemental or something Genassi. different thank Genassi. you Genassi. sorry sorry but still same thing applies why why were you gonna run into lava wait to go get what you? Lava? he's gonna kind of just like kind of cock an eyebrow and look back to where the castle was and just see like the pool a while ago. It's gone! <laughs> and just go, holy fuck. Uh, it's been select deleted. Uh, uh, Filled with lava. Yep. Oh. Control F lava. He just kind of points and goes, what? Was that? It, it, is that the, the castle? castle? Yeah. Oh, he's going to turn to Alberry, who is probably so far away, just going to go. Definitely keeping his distance. He's like. He's just like, 
he just mutters himself, I am not messing with that wizard. <laughs> and he just turns back to Callie and goes, Well, uh, that is terrifying. But yeah, why were you... Wait, did Callie say why she was running to lava or no? Okay, yeah, sorry. Because I was going to go after you. Right. He just kind of looks down and goes, ah, Thank you. And going to give her a hug. Got to pull one of these so she doesn't accidentally burn him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fire hair. Yeah, right. Fire <laughs> hair. <laughs> oh. I, sorry, I should... Should, should I be giving you a hug? You want me to hug you? I, I can let go if you want me to. She's going to hug him back, but oh. then pull one of these. All right. He's going to go, oh, okay. Yeah. That tried to burn you, bro. I'm not <laughs> trying to burn you. You don't want a Kelly shaped ponytail on your chest right now, especially Fair since enough. you're practically naked. That is true. Yeah. He, he's just going to be caught off guard and go, So I guess that means we gotta get going somewhere. Back to Sanctuary, I'm guessing. We gotta go find Sir Wellington. He dipped out of go, the out of that go, room. Son, you, Sir Wellington's gonna find you. Oh. <laughs> he kinda dipped out of that room. I don't know where he went. Uh, of course. Well I hope. I uh, no, wait, was because Callie wasn't out. Callie is well aware that Sir Wellington said, hey, we got to Sanctuary. We're through now. We'll be, like, we're finding help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah didn't, didn't he message that to somebody, though? Yeah, I think he... No, you, he telepathic you, you, you were telepathically oh, connected. All of you heard that. Oh, yeah, it was all like of, on all of you guys were. Except, got it. except, except for Marcus. I was, yeah. included, I was included in that. Yes, right. and Abigail was knocked out, but everyone else was aware that uh, we ended up there. True. Except for Marcus. Marcus doesn't know. Marcus yeah. doesn't need to know. <laughs> exactly. T to be but, fair, yeah, Kelly probably got to go. go. We're headed. We gotta head to Sanctuary and get Sir Wellington, and then <laughs> back to hey. stage one that we were six months ago. Trying to Getting get off this fucking off. continent. That makes sense. I'm ready to go home. Agreed. I spent 14, 14 years of my life trying to get out of that fucking monastery, and now I'm ready to go home. Yeah. Laugh at us, you curveballs like that. Although, oh, he's gonna kind of, as soon as he thinks about going to sex, right, he's gonna kind of like do need to find early on. I don't know where he ended up. Early? Oh. He's not in Sanctuary? Uh, no. Yeah, he was in Sanctuary. He, uh, he would know that. I, because I would know he was, he was with, in Sanctuary? No, no. Marcus no. would know he's in Sanctuary. <laughs> Marcus would know he's Because he was with Marcus's party and was like, well, we need to figure out a way to find Callie because I don't know where Callie is. You know, mm. he, so as he's like, uh, oh, you know, he's in Sanctuary. Oh. Yeah. He was with him. He was with us when we were going in. And I was kicked out because of a certain someone. And he's going to kind of lean to the side a little bit and just kind of give Abigail like this glare of like, did we, did I, we still, them? I still don't Yeah, you guys you are in that. your <laughs> audible uh, range. I thought I'd bury on with this away. You guys, you guys. He, well, he, you did, but yeah, then they've been walking, in, like they've been moving. You're, you're, well, you're come back in range. Camp. Yeah, you're still, you're still in. Oh, I mean, technically, you're still in earshot, but I feel like even if you were out of earshot, he raised his voice for you to hear that. Yeah, he kind of did. Like, the entire point of that was for Abigail to hear that. You're like, hopefully, I won't have any complications like last time, and is going to like look directly at Abigail. What? That. You know what you did. And he's going to go back to 
<laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about the amulets inside of my backpack that got me kicked out of Sanctuary. Oh, I forgot I did that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look out. Huge dick. He's gonna look out Barry on and just like kind of look at Abigail like, do you expect? <laughs> like, do you see this? Do you hear this shit? Wait, kicked out of Sanctuary. What does yes. that mean? Uh, as in. When I pass by the TSA, which, in. by the way, fuck the TSA. They can go what? fuck them. I don't know what that is. It's a security so force. And when they caught the little things that you stole, they took me and Sir Wellington to this weird ass like interrogation room. And it was like, oh, you're kicked out and you can't come back again. Wait, did they say Wait, so you can't go back to Sanctuary? Hold on. I think I'm misremembering. And Markham, did they say he could try again? This is actually no, it. no. You, you got you're out. You, you're mm. just out. The you're only out. reason Sir Wellington got in is because Sir yeah, Wellington that, looked like glamour. himself. I couldn't remember. I wanted to make sure I wasn't misremembering. No, goes, it was not fake glamour. It was just that I had a ring of illusion, like a ring of disguise before yeah. that I had on, and they're like, "Ah, gnome child." Yeah, he and he goes, uh, "Yeah, yes, the so, boy." We got, so yeah, he looks and goes, yeah, no, I can't go in again. I can't try. For now. What the fuck? Yeah. So how are we supposed to get you in? Uh, I very much don't. Well, that's not an option. We just got all together, mostly, but uh, just one. Hmm. What again. the fuck? You know, again, I can't. And he like kind of glares at Ab Abigail again. But at the very least, I can get, I can help get y'all there. No, you have to come with us, and it's we just have to, I don't know, find you a disguise or something. Just, all right. I can set you on fire, and you can be like my fifth cut, fifth brother. I... If it's any help, I can just tell them it was me. I don't think I'm getting in. He kind of just like, got... Just, like, snitch on yourself? Yeah. I'm not going to get in anyways. How do you know? Well, if a little you're demonic artifact scared and your soul scared them... Mm -hmm. If a little bit of demon artifact scared them away, I'm certainly going to be worse uh, than that. When the rest of the continent is overrun with demon shit, and this is like the one place that isn't, I wouldn't blame them. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, do you have a little bit more color to your cheeks? <laughs> she like what? kind of glares at him, almost rolls her eyes. Is this, just... is this the whole, like, she, she's not a damn fear thing? Because I, she said it, and I didn't understand. She doesn't look different to me. Oh, well, he, he, she kind of has a little bit more color in her cheeks when before she was just pale. She does look significantly still, darker. Her she also still, has yeah. Her skin yeah, she darker. also she also has blue eyes now. She looks she also quite look different. at her through a through a tube. That's true. Jar. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. So he, Last yeah, time he you just... saw Abigail, it was through a jar, and she was this big. So like... Yeah, and she also had a bunch of goth makeup on, and now she's just... Yeah. <laughs> now For she's all we know, like... she could be gothing it up so hardcore to try to redeem herself that she put contacts in. You know, And she's like wearing the most Disney princess dress of all time. Yeah. It's true. So, it's so true. Marcus I feel like, like Abigail was trying to get herself killed back there just so she wouldn't have to wear the dress. With yeah. the whole, <laughs> I am here to face down Marcus myself thing. So this is a very much Twilight Zone kind of moment <laughs> yeah. for Marcus. As he just sees like the complete you're opposite Abigail, of Abigail, but that. you're not Abigail. Are you from a different Paraverse or something? <laughs> Yikes, different versions. <laughs> he, he will kind of just look go, if I didn't know any better, I would think you were a Paraverse version of yourself. All right. Marcus knows about the Paraverse? Insane. Yeah, multiverse, multiversal. Everyone, Wait, actually, does the... he? Because that's that's a question that Abigail has. He, he <laughs> that's plotting, know, plotting. He, he didn't know about the nuclear bomb beforehand. Well, there was that, that thing was where invented like... in this world. 
Oh, fair. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say because is that coming from like Abel's timeline? Because holy shit! <laughs> no, th- no, like he knew that, so I was like, maybe he does know. I don't know. No, no, the the nuclear bomb was invented in this world yeah. during the war uh, war of technology. Um, Wait, what do you know, Paraverses? Then the or? tech war. Uh, he'd know the term multiverse. Uh, okay. because that's in all sorts of fiction and fair enough. <laughs> that's okay, that's so... in pop. That's like Marvel, you know, the MCU, um, the fantasy version of that. Um, that's a thing. So, <laughs> okay. So he's going to look, okay. So everyone, he's going to go, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were a different, multi- like a multiverse version of yourself, you know, like from, uh, from those sequential pictorial stories about <laughs> Demon Man, who like dresses up as a demon and goes around and like saves people in this city. Well, I was gonna demon say man. The... <laughs> Demon Man, Devil Man. I mean, hey, <laughs> Devil Man. No, I was I was gonna say the. I was gonna say the Revengers, just make it the Revengers, but oh well. The Revengers. The Revengers. Shut the fuck up. Mark, can it be the Revengers? Please let it be the Revengers. I mean, if Lord of the Rings is canon in your world, there's no reason the Avengers can't be. Well, no, the Avengers are, but, like, they don't know that. So they'd be, like, the Revengers. Iron Man is literally just a Warforged. Well, or a armored uh, artifact. Artificer. artificer. Or it, Armored artificer, there is yeah. actually an artificer subclass, I think, now where you're basically playing Iron Man. Armored. Which is amazing. Yeah, armorer. Yeah, it's so armor armor is just a storm. Co- it's just so a storm co- it's should I say Revengers or should I just keep it to multiverse? <laughs> you can keep it to multiverse for now. I need to work Damn out it. what kind of fiction is in this world. Boy, <laughs> you guys are throwing me through the ringer. I throw random encounters. You're like, hey, can you name and design these six NPCs that we could have killed? <laughs> But hey, instead uh, decide to be friend. I make hey, a comment wait. about a comic thing. They're like, could you design an entire MCU that fits in a fantasy setting? <laughs> like, guys, <laughs> I can't make a passing comment we without you guys wanting me to this. elaborate. We talked about Markham, the different I think bands this that is, exist. We did. I think this is what happens when you go off on so many tangents. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. yeah no. he, anyway. This world is going to be more this. detailed than the real world at this rate. Anyway, so yeah, he'll just say multiverse to himself. It's not possible, and I hate that comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to say it. Hey, I, I got Nez's uh, attention, though. Oh gosh. <laughs> that comment was, was conjured just for you, Nez. I knew you'd appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he just kind of goes, eh, all right. Either way, I guess we should get some rest and then We'll figure something out. I'm fucking sleeping. Which one are you doing? Sleeping? <laughs> what? <laughs> sleeping or fucking? Oh, speaking of which. I Wait, can't do really no fucking. fucking. Dear that fucking transition what? over to Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> Just Sir Wellington sitting on the Sir chair Wellington as he hears. Sir Wellington is like, like this on the chair, just... Just hear squeaks from above. She's like, "Oh no!" He, he just, he just oh, looks over at he, he just he just looks over at Rio and goes, "I'm sorry, you have to deal with this." <laughs> you know, pull out the earplugs out of his ears. <laughs> like, that's a good idea. He he goes outside, digs in the dirt a little bit, and like shoves mud in his ears. <laughs> Yeah, you you guys have a wonderful a evening together, and um, the next morning wake up. I get taught how to pray. <laughs> yeah, pray get taught how to pray. So, so, it's very touching. You got taught how to pray. I told Tani that I have to leave for a little bit, but I'm leaving real thin skillfin with her. I can't take the horse too. You can't take the dog and the car. Like that's just rude. That's just rude, especially when you're flying. Like, right. <laughs> hey, hon, I'm gonna stow the dog in the car on the in the storage of the. Uh, I'm I'm gonna check it for the flight. Um. So you're toast. And then Bye. You <laughs> got dogs. Yeah. So I guess I was done in the morning. I walk downstairs and just look at Wellington. And I'm like, I, when you get down there, he's just like sitting, and he's like, he already has 
Kaylee and Harrison in there. He goes, okay, so like you come in and they're just like sitting there chatting. What are you three talking about? We're learning how to uh, pay too. That and then I also am tell I told them that they need to uh, hang out with with the new lady and well I guess not new for them but like for me and then I told them that to uh, be like, to... raises her hand. Yes. She's really old though. Oh, but she but she but she'll She's be like off. she'll be a fun to she'll be fun to hang out with still I bet I bet you she has a lot of stories and I bet she could teach you how to do like some different pranks that uh, we forgot about. They both perk up and they just take off and run up the stairs. No, no, don't do that. I grab both of them. <laughs> Wait for her to come down here, little ones. Why? She's still very naked. She is still naked, so. Oh. Ew, you gotta I wake up before her every day. Kieran's gonna go over to the chair where he left his stuff. He's gonna put his armor on, put his clothes on, sit down, and be like, Wellington, you want some apple juice? Yes, do you guys want some apple juice? It's actually apple juice, so like <laughs> <laughs> well, he he, assu he assumes that it's apple juice, and that's it why is. he asked the other two, "Do you want some apple juice They're as like, well?" Because uh -huh. he's gonna share. Because Kieran wouldn't lie. Yeah. Exactly. Kieran? When has Kieran lied? Exactly. Kieran has no reason to trick this man into yeah, getting like, alcohols. He pours apple juice into each of their cups and pours. Uh, Thank you. Pours coffee for himself. <sighs> is that one of the? Uh, the, this the is potato my grower coffees that I've heard about. Uh, the what? Yeah, where they put like the whiskey and the coffee. No, it's just it's just coffee lab. Oh, okay. No, I you don't always drink alcohol. Yeah, that's what he used to do. He just he, he just squints at him like that's bullcrap. As he puts a bottle of mead into his bag, trip. <laughs> right. Road weed. Me. As, uh, I'm just like, <laughs> did you, did you uh, try praying to Loki last night? No, I should try doing that right now. <clears throat> he just focuses well, and goes. Let's see how this goes. Um... Wait, let me finish my oh, coffee first. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said, uh, you, said you, you guys said that, and I also saw Marcus. I need something. He, he shuffles in his bag and pulls out, um, like a little keepsake that Loki gave him, like just on it, like of the Fey realm, and he holds Aww. it. He's like, "Okay, Loki, I don't know if you can hear me or not, because I've not done this before. But I was told that you are a god, and I did not know that, and that I could pray to you. And so I figured I would tell you that Alfteen was, for the most part, a help." Um, and that, like, she, she ran away when she got scared of a thing that was down here. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I guess everyone was kind of freaking out over Marcus anyways. Um, um, and, uh, I, I got to show some people are very surprised and they have not seen, uh, raccoonicorns before. So it's been very interesting when people see me and they're like, what are you? Um, and Who then knows? we 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 uh we painted a horse blue and uh and so the horse had blue balls. And he just you painted and he my just, horse's so, balls. So proud of <laughs> he, just, he just he just stops and he like he's like <laughs> You painted my horse's what now? Nothing. I need to know which one of you did that because it's fucking hilarious if one of you actually did that. Well, in ten. Uh, so when he does it, it's fine. Well, it's not fine, but he had to grab his balls. Well, no, but we do you just like he do you tickle them with the brush. So <laughs> Wellington painted my character. Sir horse's Wellington balls. the nut tickler. <laughs> he, he, I, I gave I gave him blue balls. So Wellington, you hear in your head. Good work. Keep it up. So he answers him, but not me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you just gotta paint a horse. 
<laughs> Apparently, <laughs> you're not as chaotic as well as Tim. Well, he doesn't chaotic respond enough. to you. That is true. <laughs> she makes Lord wild threats to people, but like, loyalty now. that's not a prank. That's a threat. That's <laughs> that's a threat. I also, just so you know, Sir Wellington wasn't a gnome. He was actually a raccoonicorn. He was a raccoon with a unicorn horn the whole time. Yes, yeah, we're, we're live right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, wifey. Hello, wifey. Hi, wife. Here's my life. Hi, <laughs> oh. It's like it, he, he looks over at Kieran and he goes, It does work. I told you. Yeah. Loki just said, good job, keep it up. Why am I not surprised? Why am do, I not you surprised? Often, do you often hear from your god as well? Before I came here, I prayed a lot. I haven't prayed much since I've been here, but I assume if I did pray, he'd probably respond a little bit better. Now, Oh, that's, that's good to know. I'll have to let Marcus know that if he's looking for a god to respond, that Loki might be a good option because he responded the first time to me. So, yeah. <laughs> everyone in the everyone in the group who actually pray, worships a god just angry, <laughs> <laughs> rage. Right. Well, we'll wait for Tani to come down, and then you and I can head on our way. Okay. And. I guess when she comes down, I'll give her a kiss and say, well, these two children are going to be visiting a lot now, so. I told them that you could probably teach them some good pranks or, you know, some good jokes or things like that, since I guess I guess you've been long for around for a long time. We're, we're talking Marcus. to Tani. Mark oh, to Tani. Mark I thought that yeah. was to... No, if Tony because of that, I was like, okay, yeah, and uh, these two kids are going to be hanging around a little bit more. And it is like, yeah, I told them that you could probably teach them some good pranks and uh, some good jokes since you've been around for a long time. She had actually same response. She just kind of like stares at him like. Karen, honey, did he just call me old? We are children. Wellington is six. The other two are ten. Okay. They think fair. everyone's old. I'll, I'll, you're older yeah. than... You're several hundred years older than me, and I don't think you're old. I appreciate that. Um, well... Several hundred? I will do my best. Really? To, um, Cradle but, robbing. <laughs> I'm only 32, but I'm a full-grown adult. Isma. But she's a like... very... She's a young elf. I, I mean, I mean, Kevin is a lot older... So I mean I'm used to being around people who are old. He's a fairy. How long do fairies live? Something like bugs that live like a week. Forever. Forever. He's they bug size. You're die. like a bug to him. I'm a... You're like I'm a... a bug to her as well. Are you just repeating my same insults? And no, I'm saying that you don't live long compared to them. That's fair. <laughs> anyway, well, I, think I mean, fun. I'm a, I'm gonna be like a probably like a bug to you. Kira's gonna get sad at that. He's gonna be willing for a big hug. Very goes, sad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, Tani will come on. She's gonna be like, oh, well, that's so sad. Why? I just look at her and I'm like, I'll live longer than he thinks. And then I hug. I'm like, you're going to live longer. We're going to find a way to make you immortal. It's a very interesting question. Now, well, I obey, mean... Does he obey the, all the laws of Fae? No. I obey... I only obey part of them, and they don't really apply to me. But also, dear, I'm leaving... Real I, li I obey them you. because I grew up in the Fae, but I do not originate from the Fae. He was just a raccoon at one point. Yes. Yep. Really okay. Really? But anyway, so then, here, I'm leaving the bear. I'm leaving so the he, it's like, with you. it's like if when he if dies, he... he actually dies. Yes. Yes. Well, Wellington, it's time to go. Okay. She okay. she she grabs Kieran's arm. Well, it's more like grabbing his arm. <laughs> Gives him a little kiss. Be safe. Come back eh, to me, okay? I'll do my best. I'll I'll come back. He will come back. 
I think a lot I more can't I can't tell you how much of him will come back, but he will come back. Well then hey, you know me, it'll take more than a few devils to kill me. I believe it. Well, I think we're fighting more than a few, but okay. Well then I've fought more than a few before you've seen me. Anyway, let's go. And I and I look at the two kids and I'm like But it was kinda of funny what you did with my horse. And I high five Harrison and walk away. <laughs> he goes, Yes. <laughs> As, as they leave the house, Sir Wellington just looks up and smirks and he goes, see, you're learning. When they when when they, when they they think you can't be phased and that you actually find amusement from it yourself, they'll stop doing it to you and they'll start doing it to others and reporting back to you. Oh, they should do it to old man Kelly. That'd be fucking funny. <laughs> just... We'll maybe plant the idea in their head once we're back. We'll do. Ready to teleport? <sighs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got this. I got this. So we'll head back to the courtyard to meet up with old head man Callie. All right. That is what I'm calling him forever now. Like old man Callie and young girl Callie. Okay. Right. So you guys get back to the others. Um, yes. There is. He's got. He's got six others with him. Four of them are his own troops. Um, two are from your group. Um, one is. I forgot the guy's name. I'll find it later. The other is Early On, who has been worried this whole time about Callie and wants to, uh, to is jumping at opportunity to find her. Um, so, how many of us are going again? A total of, um, <laughs> gave him the wrong voice. Uh, uh, let me see. We got one, two, three. I think you said four. eight, right? Yeah, total of eight. So, Sir Wellington and one other, right? Uh, sorry, Sir Wellington and eight others, right? Yes, but he said that there's others who can teleport as well, so it's not like there's more people going, but if not, well, that's fine. There is, there is, there is. He's got another couple, but this particular group, you have early on one other, and then four from the... One, two, three, four. Okay, four so... From there, and then him, and then... How many different two. groups are there, though? They're actually a total of different, ten, ten different groups. So about 90 people in all. Okay, but okay. You see, okay, you so can threat. I? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know. You know, it's not that he's like. Can I get the leaders from each of the different groups to like? I need. I can only have up to eight others. Can we figure out who is going to need to communicate with whom for the next little bit? Don't worry, I'll handle the communication. And he kind of points out those are the uh, those eight are the leaders. Okay, so there's seven, besides you, we need seven others. Who are you mainly needing to communicate with seven others? Um, I can communicate just for the next hour. The just next in hour? case, it's just it's just it's just in case I'm going to let us all telepathically communicate with each oh. other for the next okay, hour. Okay, yeah, it and it be... doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where in the in the world we are. We can always communicate. So, how many can you do total for that? Um. I mean, I can. I, I mean, I guess I could cast it twice, and uh, I could get like sixteen. Well, we only need eight. Me and oh nine. Oh that's well. Right. Me and the eight others. Okay, we'll do it, do it this twice. And he does. He goes pop pop. <laughs> and he does. He, he's gonna just can. Can we say for the simplicity's sake of it that if he multi because it does not require concentration or anything like that. Can he cast it twice and have them kind of connect? I if he because it doesn't allow for it doesn't allow for upcasting for whatever reason. I don't reason. like that, so I'm gonna say if he upcasts it, it 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 allows for more. We'll just pretend it's upcasted because I think that's dumb that you can't upcast something to increase the volume of it. Okay, if I increase it by one level, how many people do I get to add? It, what it's uh, at fifth let's level, do it's two eight people per level. Okay, cool. Well, I get the one other person I attach Kieran to the group as well. Perfect. All right. So you get all the leaders plus Kieran. All right. Yeah. Everyone okay. ready? Yeah. Ready, okay. Yeah. Okay. So just he just quickly tells all the leaders in his side. He's like, okay. So the the uh, we, I don't know. There's a lot of lava around there. Maybe I I don't know if we want to land right at in the castle, but uh, next to the castle, uh, there was the campground we we made. Uh, we could go there. Or do you want, or should we go into the castle? 
we've never been in the castle, so my mages can't teleport us into the castle. Okay, but so if I we should... could do like right at the foot of the castle, that should be good. So I could go to the then the campground and I could send a like with Actually, our telepathic connection, I could give them a visual image of what everything we're seeing is so that they know where to land. Okay, that sounds good. So where's our target? Okay. Uh it's probably like a hundred yards from the foot of the castle. Sounds good. That's probably as close as we've ever gotten. Okay, I'll they give it. They got good defenses there. We yeah, we would we've never been able to breach the walls. Why are you trying to just breach the walls? Why not just walk walk in through the doors? You can't access the doors once once you once you begin the siege. They always lock it up tight. We've lost. But that was your that was your problem. You should have not attacked initially. You should have just gone inside and then attacked things. Because, you know, we were able to just, like, there's, like, a little side door that we were able to open up and go in through. And we just we just went invisible. And there were some skeletons that walked past, but we stayed real quiet. We were able to get past them. And then we just went upstairs, and then we were able to avoid all that conflict. And we were able to get into the castle and uh, fight the things that way. Karen, where'd you find this guy? That's a... You know the shipwreck I told you about where I landed here? Yeah. That's where I found him. Huh. Quite he was catch. alone. And I picked him up, put him on my shoulder, and he sat there for a long time. You... And I gave him a cookie. And gave me a cookie. He's also got a little squirrel. They're good cookies, by the way. Thank you for that yesterday. Ah, uh, I'm glad. He also has a squirrel named Snickers. Okay. Well, I'll go first. And we'll go first, our two group, and then uh, we'll share the image with people. And then uh, we can go from there. Very well. All right, gentlemen, you know the place. Beggar's right before landing. he's even able to like say, like finish what he's saying, he's just like he goes, boom. Beggar's just... land. <laughs> and he goes, they they appear right in the middle of the camp. Oh, you targeted the camp. Yeah, because okay. that's where that's what he knew. That's fair. All right, all right. So you, yeah, you're right at the camp. Um. All right, and you're going to project the mental image back to them? Yeah, but everyone that's at the camp right now would just see eight people just... All right, so everyone, you're kind of waking up this the morning. Fuck out. <laughs> oh, no, this is the next morning. This is. Oh, no. Well... Yeah. Cal, oh, you're still the out? Fuck out. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. All right. Um, who all has woken up then? Is, is Abigail awake? Is Marcus awake? Or are you guys just all sleeping in? Uh, uh, how... How long early rest. are we talking here? Long like, rest. What time is it? You all get a long I'll take rest. Take that long rest. It was fuck yeah. Late afternoon, early evening. Um, it's maybe seven a.m. for Sir Wellington and Co. Um, as they arrive. So, Mark, if it's seven a.m. when they arrive, Marcus will definitely be up. Just cause okay. He so is as we jelly. teleport in, I see Marcus, and I kind of instinctively stand between him and Wellington. Raid. Marcus. I'm not sure how long ago that was, but welcome. It, here? Wait, what? And he just kind of looks at the now. army and goes, Been the while. Uh, you got a lot of... Boy, this uh, is going to be intense. Well, Wellington brought, came to me and told me that everyone needed help. Uh, He's also going to kind of pull out his ex. He also told me he tried to kill him and Callie. Callie's passed yeah. out on the floor, back on you her back. You failed up. You have five seconds to explain. Straight uh, up star uh, mission. <laughs> and there's where we should end tonight's episode. <laughs> okay, let's go. With, go. With, Kieran, with Kieran drawing his axe and walking up to so like a Marcus, naked, like a Marcus in like rags. He's like, or is it like rags? And Kieran's just got his axe. Like, explain. <laughs> Threaten my Next case. time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so 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 backing up to just before that, Marcus, as you woke up, um Alberion was sitting and talking with Alfdeen and Deidre. Alfdeen? Mm-hmm. When did they get there? Sometime during the night. Uh, the he fuck? Just, <laughs> he just kinda like sits up and just Kind of... Go back to bed. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. I... No, he's <laughs> just shit today. Not today. Like he's gonna make it, make it known. Like, yeah, I'm awake, but it's like I am safe. I am docile. I am not a threat. He's like, 
Um, Alberion appears to be talking about like world lore and ancient history and stuff like that with them. They're having it's like two history nerds just geeking the fuck out is what it's like going on over oh, there between that so good. him and Alfdeen. I will Argus. say if 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 Wellington shows up and sees Alfdeen talking with someone, he's gonna run over to her. Yeah, no. Because she because she's now like on Alfdeen to him. She's what? That's on elf team to him now. So, wait, do I have time to answer? Yeah, here? yeah, absolutely. Okay. He's going to, like, kind of, like, just kind of... Okay. He, he's already, like, kind of coming to the fact, like, oh, yeah, no, she's there back. He just kind of looks, and, like, as he says five seconds, he goes, huh? oh, uh... Okay, long story. Five seconds. Um, and that's where we should start next session with. <laughs> yeah. is with Marcus explaining everything to Kira. Because uh, it's, it's too little late. <laughs> do what you say. I mean, it's a little bit earlier than usual, but if you guys want to call it with... um, It's not. This what is, do you mean it's a little earlier than usual? It's, like, it's, it's like 20 it's, it's minutes later. Late. Yeah, we're we're 20 minutes late, 20. dude. Right. I was looking yeah. at the wrong time. I was... <laughs> Never mind. Never You're mind. good, man. You're tired. What? You get it. <laughs> the time change threw me off. I didn't change all my clocks, so well, I, I was I thinking in, going, in the wrong time zone. That's that Marcus would be going, like, worse, wouldn't yeah. it? Marcus, go. How are you oh, thinking? Alfie. Okay. Oh, Kieran. Oh, Kieran. <laughs> oh, army behind here. Oh right. God. Yes, we are over. Yes. All right. I got mixed up. <laughs> yes, that will be a we'll good place. We'll see you guys in tonight. two weeks. Um, uh, so guys, everyone, tune in next week. It's going to be a very nope. special session. No, nope. it is nope. called Thanksgiving Shuffle, and it is where we are all shuffling off to do Thanksgiving, so we won't be here. <laughs> what? Yeah, you don't, you don't tune in for week? that. <laughs> no, no Naz, Thanksgiving. it's Thanksgiving for us Americans. Yeah. American Thanksgiving is next Thursday. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the Abigail one shot where Nat as splits the party again so that we can do a single one. -on -one I don't think session. we've had a cohesive everyone like a one collective party since like since like session five. Yeah, right? no, right? since session, session one, five. I think. The session one. That's true because no. Kieran went. But on we only had two one. sessions where Abigail and Kieran were in the same area because yeah, she I, kept it was being like session one own... or two. Yeah, that's true. Like because I'm pretty sure Abigail split off to go be suspicious laboratory stuff in session two. That's where things don't went to shit. Don't be suspicious. Don't yes. be suspicious. But, she made yeah. a one whole session being... <laughs> we made a one whole session. Look at us being a family again. Right. That whole party right. once Every, again. Everyone, yep. Oh, Callie's getting a bear hug after Kieran's done inter interrogating Callie's Marcus. Callie's passed the fuck out. <laughs> She's gonna wake up to Kieran being like, Callie! Naz, I bros. did change my Ask clock. Bros. I thought I didn't change it, so I looked at 1022, thinking it was 1022 Eastern. Markham. Markham, I don't understand your logic, but, like, sign us out. Let's go. I gotta go to bed. Yeah. All right, everyone, thank you for joining us. Raiders, thank you for raiding. Um, we will be back next week, where hopefully we Kieran Welcome will not Welcome to Raiders of the Lost Wolves. Continent. True. Yeah. We won't. That's, we won't be back here next week. That's Oh, extra math for no reason that you did naturally. We'll be back two, in weeks, two weeks from now. <sighs> we'll be back in two weeks. Thanksgiving is next week, so we'll be back the week after. And hopefully, Marcus won't be bisected by Kieran because he's out of lives. So, everyone, uh, let's start with Abanaz. Abanaz. Naz. Abanaz. 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 <laughs> My name Naz. I put Abigail. Did you have to yeah, check your does. notes? Hmm. Did you have to check your notes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Naz. I play Abigail. <laughs> I'm certain of that. All right. Um, Wellington, sir. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington, your uh, interdimensional raccoonicorn of mysterious traits. Marcus? Uh, I play Marcus, who has had one hell of a last ten minutes, actually. But hell of a day. Hell of a day. So, yeah. Kieran. 
Uh, I'm Cole, Cole Wolfrun. I play Kieran, and uh, I will hopefully not murder Marcus next episode. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And last but not least, Leselk. Hello. I am soaking to the internet. Callie and the Lost Continent. Uh, catch Mark and Naz and I tomorrow as we play Legend of Kralis. As stuff's happening and we did it wrong. So wrong. We we were supposed to go to certain pathways. We didn't do any of those. Technically, though, Ellen is more equipped since his whole thing was Orb of Darkness and Darkness this, that, and the other. And his thing is specifically designed to shoot at undead without using bullets. You weren't meant to go down that hallway, I, I don't know, think. I know, but I'm better equipped for it than than. Listen, Bar. I thought I was better <laughs> equipped to go handle the mindfuckery because I'm immune to mindfuckery and I'm getting mindfucked. So, <laughs> here we are. You can tell them whatever the fuck we're talking about tomorrow uh, at Legend of Kralis. If uh, you like your D&D stuff, hang around here at D&D now. Uh, they do a lot of D&D stuff. Uh, Mondays, they have the AUN Adventures. Tuesday, they have the Moonlight. State of the Union. Mar- or is it State Moonlight? of the Union. Yeah. Saturdays, One Moonlight of those. Matriarchy. Saturdays is Moonlight Matriarchy, and then there's us on Thursdays, and then Legend of Kralis on Fridays. So, like, hang around for long enough, you'll find something you'll like. Yep. Markham, take it home. All right. I am Mr. Markham. I'm your Dungeon Lord, Janagan Sovereign, DM, GM, etc. Um, catch us two weeks from now as we will have more fun and more chaos. And catch three of us tomorrow as we will have more fun and more chaos. Take care, everybody. If I can remember what. There it is. Have a good one.